<laughs> Hi, Leech. Hi, homie. It's me. It's Jim. Yay! I like this game. I like it, too. And the Good thing morning. is, we didn't even finish the first story. Or the first I ending. I know. This is either going to be, like... Heartbreaking or it, very no, heartfelt. No, 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 no. I mean, like, the we're either halfway through this story, or it's all going to accelerate time-wise really fast. And uh, we're, like, yeah. literally all, almost done. That happened with Had a Full Boyfriend when uh, Kitsune and I played it. We finished because we were like, oh my god, we're only like halfway through the year. And then when we started, we were literally in like the end <laughs> scenes. Yes. Awkward bromance. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I was like, what voices did I do <laughs> for all the characters? And then I was like, oh, they've all come rushing back to me. No problem. No, nope, I've forgotten oh. all of them except for the protag and the protag as I gave the regular voice. Obnoxious high, obnoxious super high, uh, angry, you know gruff low. No, I'm talking about my voices. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. My voices are all obnoxious. <laughs> this, oh that's yeah, that's job. right. Discord won't pick you up sometimes. <laughs> yes, that is my job. Also, fair warning to the audience: I might have to randomly leave. Uh, I've got plumbers on the way again. Ooh woo. Um. But yeah, I'm home alone. I thought I wasn't going to be home alone for that. So I'm the one who has to take care of it. Um, and if it does happen, we'll just take a pause and wait for you to come back. Thanks. We, we will probably look up some memes while you're gone. <laughs> thanks. I don't know when they're coming. They're just like, Monday morning. And I'm like, okay. It's uh, like... You're getting your pipes laid? Nah. She's getting her pipes checked. <laughs> That's for sure. Technically, they're checking the washing machine. Uh, but I'm sure they have time for some extra pipes. <laughs> no. Last time, they flooded my bathroom. Let's see what they do to our laundry machine this time. They're just gonna start the house a is full of laundry. They're just going to start a load of clothes and be <laughs> like, we'll be back. <laughs> I'm like, you could have at least done our clothes. <laughs> Don't get stuck. Yeah. I'm stuck in the washing machine. There's no stepper to help you out. <laughs> Mr. Plumber, there's something stuck in the washing machine. It's me. <laughs> uh, do we want to go ahead and get started just in case? Yeah, let's just get rolling. All right, all right. <clears throat> Oh, I forgot how much I love the art style. Oh, yeah, the art style. Whew. Okay, well, it's hot. Why the hell is it so hot both outside and inside? Even with the air conditioner on full blast. Boom! Got them. We don't call it an air conditioner over in Asia. We call it an air con. <laughs> wow, you outed them. <laughs> I outed them. Located. This takes place in Japan. We do not call it an air conditioner. Anyways, that's it. <laughs> At I least. Was, I was jarred. I, even with the air conditioner on, it was like getting hit by a fucking brick. I was like, what? Air conditioner? Who says that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> People who aren't from Asia. Yeah, thanks mm. to you, I've been calling them air cons. I, it just makes more sense. It's one of those things that it's not me trying to be a fucking, like, Korea boo or some shit. I'm just like, oh, no. Yeah, that's a lot less uh, syllables, and it just rolls right off the tongue. They're con. And then someone yeah. bites back to, like, why not just call it an AC? And I'm like, I could, but AC is a acronym, and nobody knows what acronyms mean all the time. And aircon is the same amount of syllables as AC. I like aircon. Anyway, I'm sorry. And AC can also stand for like ass check. Sure. And they would know. <laughs> oh, 
Are you an ass chick? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways, that's my little rant. You, I, I was just triggered, like, first thing in the morning. I'm half asleep, and I saw the words air conditioner, and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, alternating current. I was thinking about electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was, but anyway. So. Okay, well, now that the trigger is over. <laughs> yeah, we be. At, thanks to Icky, I've already finished my homework days ago. Oh, I already finished my homework days ago, so I don't have to, I don't have that to worry about on top of everything else. I wonder what the guys are doing right now. Squad. It's still morning. Maybe they're just loafing around or sleeping in. I know that Ichigo and Haru were focusing on some anime events for most of their holiday, while I was spending the majority of my time with Icky and the others. I glanced at my phone to check the time when it suddenly rings. It's Icky. Oh, they were thinking about each other. I pick up, smirking at the screen. Yo. Wow, you calling me? How rare. K, bye. No, wait, don't <laughs> hang up. <laughs> Big homie energy. <laughs> I literally thought that. I was like, wow, that is homie. <laughs> yep, bye. No, wait, don't hang this. up. <laughs> Wake up, bad mommy, love you. <laughs> it's like hearing homie say, sup, in voice chat. It's like, oh, homie actually speaks. And then he mutes Mute. himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he call? Is something wrong? No, I just kind of missed you. Aww. Huh? Aw. Is Icky getting the feelings? He's so cute. I mean, somehow I wanted to see you. Like, do you want to go somewhere together or something? Why not? But it's hot outside, so let's go somewhere indoors. What about the aquarium, then? I'll pick you up soon. Dang. Got it. I quickly put on, I quickly pull on some pants and wait for Icky for a few minutes until I hear the doorbell ring. God, I forgot. He's so I, cute. I forgot about the art style. It's so good. He's so cute. Hi again. Yeah. So, um, are you ready? Yes. What's the aquarium like? Is it big? I think it's a pretty decent size. At least I thought it was big when I was younger. I haven't really had the time to go there these past years. So, let's go then. I'm kind of curious now about the aquarium that but also about you i want to know more about what you're what you like or dislike things about your life what makes you happy i see we should hurry so that ryu and toshio don't wait long for us well no actually it'll just be the two of us today oh we're oh. going on a date oh really yeah toshio is sick and ryu is busy with something else so i see I hope you don't mind it boring without them. To tell you the truth, I'm glad that I can take it easy today. It's so tiresome to spend time with the both of them. And also, it will never be boring as long as I'm with you. Uh, uh, thanks. I don't know how to respond when he says something like that. I get that he's not trying to imply anything, but I can't help but overthink it. I have to play it cool. I'm sure it'll be fun. I can't wait. You seem rather happy about it. Yeah? I'm kind of excited hanging out with you and all. Isn't it the first time that we're going out just the two of us? I think so, yes. It's a bit like a date. A d date? I'm joking, I'm joking. Jeez. But. Anyway, let's go. Oh, he wanted to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we walked for about 15 minutes, trying our best to avoid the sun before finally reaching our destination. The building is bigger than I thought, and I'm genuinely excited to see how it is inside. Mm. Whoa, it's pretty. Right? I remember the first time I came here. I was really amazed. He's smiling. Yeah. I like the color scheme, it's so good. How old were you? 
I was six. Toshio went with me, and I remember making fun of him for being afraid of the big fish. In truth, his reaction was actually pretty cute. It's hard to imagine a cute, scared little Toshio. <laughs> yeah. But you know, he didn't change much since then. In fact, between the three of us, Toshio's the one who's changed the least. Sometimes it's like having to take care of a little kid. I don't have anything against him being childish, but he should see a therapist or find someone special who can endure his fickle craving for attention. Because I'm not fit for it, but I want him to be happy. It sounds like he needs someone who can care for him, but not give in to his every whim. He needs a mommy dom. Mm, yes. I mean, wait. Somehow, I think you match that description. No way. I would murder him in just a week. I wonder. I don't really want you two to end up together anyway. Huh? Why? Well, you're both my friends. I don't want you guys killing each other for real. Oh. I'm surprised to hear a hint of disappointment in my voice. Was I expecting a different answer? Hey, come here. Let's follow the arrows on the floor. Ah, oh, right. I didn't even notice that there's a direction to follow. Oh, the flow. Of <laughs> the blip, 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 blip. The blip, blip, blip. The bleep, the bleep, the bleep. Without <laughs> thinking. <laughs> Without thinking, I extend my hand to grab his, but stop right in time before he can notice. What on earth am I doing? That was close. He would probably be weirded out if I held his hand. That boy wants you to hold his hand so bad. <laughs> as, the, as the pro tag. <laughs> oh. But as I think that, I feel a slight pressure on my fingers. I look at Icky, confused. Hands. So that we don't separate from each other. Oh, yes. Right. That way we don't get separated. Mm -hmm. I squeeze his hand a little. Icky stiffens, and I can see his embarrassed face, despite the dim lights. I smile, and I can't help but comment on it. Is this the first time you're holding hands with a girl? I mean, other than your mom or your sister. Mm, cute. Don't make fun of me. I'm not. What about you? Are you used to it? You seem rather confident. No, you're my first too. Be gentle with me. D don't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> he, they knew. They knew what was going to be said. Oh, <laughs> uh, nothing. He tightens his grip and starts to quicken his pace, pulling me along. Is he upset, or maybe just too embarrassed? He really is clumsy when it comes to expressing his feelings, but I like this side of him. We look around the aquarium until it becomes lunchtime and we start deciding on where to eat. Firmly grass. I look at the map and smile, pleasantly surprised. There's actually a lot of spots to eat. Do you have any preferences? What about you? Oh, she wants to eat him? <laughs> I'll be fine with whatever you decide to go. I better start sucking. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the jellyfish. What? <laughs> Ma'am, this climbing is climbing in the tank. <laughs> this is the Wendy's. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Do we wanna go to a cafe or Mr. Penguin sandwiches? Cafe. More romantic. What about this place? He breaks into a smile upon seeing the Dolphin Cafe. I knew you would choose this one. Really? Am I that predictable? No. It's more like it's fitting for someone like you. Like me? Do I look like a dolphin or something? Ah, uh, you must mean I look like... I look like I like dolphins, right? No, I mean you're cute and happy. Oh! Cute and happy? Is that the way he sees me? I have no clue. So, I look cute and happy to you? I feel like I'm dating myself. 
Yes, somehow. Is that a compliment? Yeah. Thank you, then. You know, you're cute, too. Anyway, let's go. I'm hungry. We enter the cafe, and the dolphin-themed decorations are indeed pretty cute. Oh, Look at the shapes of the tables and the chairs. It's adorable. They look square. Yeah, I mean, they look normal. <laughs> That's... They just look normal. Icky takes a glance around and pokes me in the shoulder. Hey, don't you think there are a lot of couples here? Yeah, that's how cafes work, baby. That's why we're here, right? <laughs> ah, you're right. Well, I think this could be a good place for a date if you like cute things. Um, maybe we should go somewhere else after all. As he's about to walk out, I grab his arm, preventing him from leaving. You ain't going anywhere, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our date. <laughs> okay, but what now? Why am I always acting first and then thinking? Hmm? Let's sit down and look at the menu. But we aren't a couple. Isn't it a bit weird to casually sit here among all the lovey-dovey people? Who cares? We have the right to be customers here, even if we aren't a couple. Right. Pro strats. She <laughs> knows what she's doing. I sit at a table near the windows, relentlessly followed by an embarrassed Icky. We look at the menu, and there are, in fact, a lot of dishes and desserts meant to be shared by couples. Now I feel kind of awkward, too. I don't know what to choose. All the dishes and drinks on the menus have embarrassing names. <laughs> we can't help it, though. Yeah, I guess. So, what will you order? I think I'll go with the Love Love Omelets. Ugh, the name. But yeah, I think I'll go with that, too. Since it's one of the cheaper ones. Hey, since this dish is meant for two, do you think they'll assume we have a lot of love to share with each other? If we order two omelets instead of one? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just order one. Oh, yes! Yeah. Hey, no, I'm hungry. I want a whole one for myself. I'm hungry too, but it's embarrassing. Just deal with it, okay? Ugh. We order our lunch and eat in silence. It's even more awkward if we're not talking. Yeah. And I'm still hungry, so let's order dessert too. I think I'm good. Icky orders the sweetheart chocolate cake, and I can't help but exclaim, impressed, upon seeing it. Oh, yeah. Whoa. She didn't get anything, and now he's going to share some with her. Oh, yeah. It's so well decorated. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Too bad it has a lame name. It's not lame, it's cute. Yes, yes. He unceremoniously scoops from his cake slice and shoves it in his mouth. As soon as it touches his tongue, his eyes open wide, and he starts to chew enthusiastically. I've been there too, buddy. It's actually really good. Really? Now I regret not having ordered it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You want a bite? <laughs> yeah. Sure. He scoops a generous amount and extends his spoon towards me, and I happily munch on it. Oh, he's feeding her. Aw, oh, yeah. Mmm, you're right. It's really good. I love the melted chocolate between the layers. Turns out the name suits it well. Yeah, can I have one more bite? It would be mean of me to say no. When you're oh, asking with that kind of thing. Oh, look how that, happy he is. Th that is Amari face. Big Amori. Amori. Big Amori vibes. Yes. Amori got a little bit older and his hair grew out. That yeah, that's it. Oh, I love it. I cannot get over it. He came out in that little tank top and I was like, Sunny? Hello? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like Sunny too. I always imagine Sunny with more like brown hair though. 
Wait, no, does he it had doesn't black he have hair? He had black hair? Yeah. Okay. Kel has brown hair. Oh, okay. Kel, that's right. I love Kel. I open my mouth I love again. All of them. <laughs> it's such a good game. I want to play it eventually. Do it. I open my mouth again, looking at Icky. Ah. Uh, he looks happy <laughs> right now, and it makes me smile to think that he's kind of taking care of me. Ooh, ooh, daddy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're actually feeding me. Don't you find it embarrassing? He's like... Fuck! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, God. That is kind of like homie, too. <laughs> Big homie vibes. Homie is icky. Yes, for sure. Confirmed. What? Feeding you? Well, yeah. No, 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 no. I mean... Plus, you ate before me with the spoon. So, isn't it a bit of an indirect kiss? Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now he can't eat any more cake. It's all ours. It's all she ours. The dream card. She was like, oh, now if you eat any, it's an indirect kiss. Uh-oh. <laughs> so either you want to kiss me or this cake is mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's played. Y'all heard it here first. I am a professional. <laughs> His face is bright red, and he doesn't seem to know where to look. <laughs> you get flushed so easily. That's so funny. You're the one to talk. You're blushing too. N no, that's not true. See, you're embarrassed as well. Oh, jeez. You can finish the cake. I don't want it anymore. I knew it. There it is. <laughs> oh. In the end, I'm the one eating dessert, and Icky is waiting for me to finish while trying to avoid my gaze the best he can. He only got one bite of his fucking dessert. <laughs> and he probably paid for it, too. Probably. Our not-a-date finishes in a flash, and I go home really happy and not able to stop grinning. It was a really fun day. September. Do you remember the 21st <laughs> night of September? Anyways. <laughs> the 7th. I don't know why I said it twice. Summer break end, ended a few days ago, and we are back to our routine. Although it's still warm outside, the weather has slowly started to change. My eyes have some difficulty staying open, as it's hard to resist sleeping with the glasses are calm like this. It's so quiet. The sound of the flapping pages, the birds chirping near the windows, and the chalk on the blackboard are like a lullaby for me. I bet we're the kid who sits in the back of the class by the window. I mean, big mood. <laughs> I sat in the front of the class by the window, and I acted like the kid in the back of the class by the window. <laughs> I had no shame. We didn't. We didn't get that luxury in the schools I went to. Oh, um, we neither. I was in trouble a lot, but <laughs> it was worth it. I'm about to fall asleep when a loud noise from the right suddenly wakes me up. It's icky. He's standing over his desk, eyes wide open, while looking at his phone screen. His uh -oh. sister woke up. Oh. You want to be the... T was I the teacher? Uh, I think I was. Mr. Sato, sit down. We're in the middle of class here. But Icky doesn't seem to mind that at all. What is happening? No way. He abruptly shoves his phone in his pocket and briskly walks towards me and grabs my arm. The second after, he starts to run, dragging me, dragging me outside the room. Come. No! <laughs> huh? What's wrong? What's going on? Two, what do you think you're doing? Come back, hey! Sorry, sir. Icky, where are we going? The hospital. Akane. Uh-oh, he doesn't look Is happy. she? I don't have the guts to finish my sentence. What if she's actually dead? I can't ask that out loud. No, she woke up. We are about to exit school when we bump into Ryu. Hey, hey, dude! Money for the taxi! It's waiting for you at the gate! See ya! Good luck! Thanks. Yeah, she woke up. Okay. 
Without a word, I follow Icky into the car after he catches the wallet thrown by Ryu, still trying to process what is happening right now. And only a few minutes later, the taxi drops us in the street near the hospital. Ryu can be reliable sometimes. Ah, we're in a taxi. Well, yeah. Oh, right. We're going to a hospital. Wait, are we skipping classes? But more importantly, I turn to Icky with a serious face. What is going on? Is Akane... She's... Akira texts me, apparently. She woke up. Yeah, see? I, I think he would have been a little bit more frantic if she yeah. had passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank goodness. Wait, who's Akira? I feel like I heard this name somewhere before. It's Toshio's... Oh, it's Toshio's brother. He was at Akane's bedside when she opened her eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I had no idea that Toshio had a brother. Well, I've never really asked anyway. We're here. Thanks to the taxi, it was quick. He nervously walked up to the front desk and asked for his sister. You want to be... Yes, the patient okay. 206 woke up not too long ago. She really woke up. Can I see her? Sorry, she's still being examined by the doctors right now. You will be able to see her in some time. Yes, Toshio's the angry gremlin. Yes. It's okay. I'll wait. You can wait over there, then. Someone should be coming soon to give you more details. Thank you. We sit on the bench, both relieved and reasonably tense. By the way, Icky. Hmm? You're still holding my hand. Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to let it go. He quickly removes his own hand from mine while blushing. I open my mouth to joke about it when I'm interrupted by a voice some steps from some steps from us. Icky. Icky? Oh. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm going to take this one. Icky, you're here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Toshio's Icky. brother? Toshio's weird brother. A boy, probably around Akane's age, is walking towards us. Despite his young appearance, he wears a semi-formal outfit and seems rather neat and proper. Aki, how is she doing? Too much detail, sorry. The yeah, doctors he... prompted me to exit the room, so I'm not informed of the latest update. Yeah, he's not mean. He doesn't look mean in the slightest. He's a baby, baby. He looks at me with a polite smile, a slight smile on his lips. Good day. I don't think we've met before. My name is Akira Miura, and you are? Oh, you're that Akira? That Akira? You are Toshio's brother, right? We were j talking about you earlier. I'm Aya Kobayashi. Nice to meet you. Aya, and you are that Aya. My brother often talks to me about you. He does? Little baby yes. man! <laughs> Little baby man. Yes, but to tell you the truth, I thought you were some kind of figment of his imagination until now. Sorry. It's understandable. That guy is special. I see that you're talking about him in quite an honest way. I'm relieved. Please, keep it up. Er, uh, yes? Icky, you brought her instead of Toshio? He's going to be furious with you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me, but I have to leave now. See you later, Icky, Miss Kobayashi. He says that after briefly bowing and waving his hand at us. Alright, so you can definitely tell the difference. Toshio is rather mean against women, and his brother is just absolutely formal. He's a little gentleman. Yeah, no kidding. See you. Goodbye. I thought he might be a bit more wary when meeting you, but it seems that he already has a good first impression of you. That kid is the total opposite of Toshio. Yes, definitely. He respects women, yeah. He drinks that respect women juice. <laughs> His little respect women juice box. <laughs> well, that's apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> 40 minutes <Melon> later. juice. <laughs> <laughs> 40 minutes later, a doctor comes to see us and explains the situation. Speaking of drinking... 
Akane is. Oh. oh. Hydration. Oh. <sighs> Yummy. Whew. Akane is currently held under observation for an hour, and we have to wait before we're allowed to see her. The first checkup revealed that she has memory loss of everything before the accident, and the probability of her regaining is uncertain. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to affect her procedural memory, so it would be a problem. So it wouldn't be a problem for everyday life. The issue seems more psychological than physiological. Physiological. Yeah, that word. That's a big word. It's okay. <laughs> I guess I can say uh. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. E extraordinarily. <laughs> Extraordinarily. Now say the place where we keep books. The bookshelf. No. <laughs> the library. Good job. <laughs> pat, 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 pat. Indubitably. <laughs> Indubitably. However, she might suffer from some kind of attention disorder and complications with moving her left arm. Both can be treated with lightly... Lightly... Lightly? Lightly yes. active exercising. <laughs> I don't know why that was, was like... Is that right? <laughs> Two syllable words tripping me up. <laughs> and regularly practicing the re-education exercises respectively. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah, I figured I'd give you a break as much as I could. That's true, uh, yeah. She's really lucky to have hardly any after effects. It's almost a miracle. Hi, Sarah. We wait for the remaining I, I, minutes, and another doctor in a different uniform comes to talk to us. Mr. Utada. Utada? Like Ryu's last name? Big Dad. His father is a doctor here, and Icky seems to know him. So I think this person is him. <laughs> oh, God. Ryu's dad. Mr. Ryu's dad. Icky, how are you? Did somebody already talk to you about the details? <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. He hesitates for a second before asking his question. Is she really okay? Besides the slight complication, yes. She's out of danger now. You can go see her. Uh, is it possible if this girl here comes with me? Ryu's dad turns to me with a surprised look on his face, then gently smiles at me. My boy's getting pussy. Customarily, it's not allowed, but it will be our little secret, okay? Thank you very much, sir. I've never seen Icky this polite before. He must really respect this man. Well, I mean, he's taking care of his sister. What do you expect? It's also, like, his best buddy's dad. Yeah. And he's never had a dad, from what it sounds like. Ooh. Yeah, I think he was a single mom. Mm hmm We're finally facing the room, and Icky's anxiety is as palpable. What can I do? Is it okay for me to try comforting him by taking his hand? Or are we still not close enough for that? Look, you were holding hands during the date. You're okay. It's okay to hold hands now. My question is... Or, like, hold his shoulder. Yeah. I, th I think oh. hand... Cute. My I questions remember. immediately vanished when he timidly pinches my pinky finger. Oh. His own fingers are trembling and sweaty, but I couldn't care less knowing how much how he must be feeling. Are you scared? I am. She doesn't remember me, right? What if she doesn't like the way I am now? What if she doesn't want a big brother like me? It'll be okay. I don't know what to say to her. Want me to talk instead, then? Will you do it for me? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Let's go? Let's go. Oh my god, that's so precious. Aww. I open the door, still holding his hand. The little girl is seated on her bed, looking through the window. Typical. Hello, Akane? Hello? Aww. Oh, look at that little baby! Little baby girl! Baby girl! <laughs> little baby girl! 
<laughs> yeah, she is. She is like what, ten years old? It makes it's cute. She peers at us, looking confused. Are you a doctor? <laughs> no. My name is Aya, and I came to visit you with your big brother. Hello. Poor Icky. He's so nervous that he's struggling to talk. I'm Icky. Nice to meet you. She gives a bit intimidated and lost. Oh, she seems a bit intimidated and lost, but I guess it's normal, given her circumstances. She woke up not long ago and doesn't have a clue about her life and people she used to know. I'm about to continue with some small talk when Icky speaks again. I'm sorry. I was planning on giving you a gift for when you would wake up, but it was so sudden I wasn't able to bring it here. Hey. Discord did not pick oh. you up. Uh, don't worry. She takes a look around the room with sparkles in her eye. All these decorations. It's you who made them, right? And the plushies and balloons too? The doctors told me. That's right. Thank oh, you. oh! My no. heart. My we heart. Protect. We are protecting her. Thank you. I was. It was really colorful when I opened my eyes. You seem to be a nice person. She's so cute. And now that she seems to be more relaxed, she's becoming rather talkative. Also, there was a boy next to me when I woke up. Do you know him? His name is Akira. He's the little brother of one of my best friends. You were both good friends before the accident. I see. Then, without warning, she just lays back down and covers herself with the blanket. Tired now. I want to sleep. Uh, oh, okay. We should leave then. Me when I finally wake up from a long coma. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> this is too much for me. See you later. Yep. See you later. Bye, Akane. And the conversation ends there. We silently leave the room, and Aki crouches down, holding his head in his hands. She's awake. She's awake, and she said I'm a nice person. <laughs> it was scary. I crouched near him and pat his head. Pat, 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 pat. You did well. I'm so glad she's awake, but at the same time, at the same time, it's painful that she doesn't remember me and all of our memories together. Yeah, that's sad. But you know what? It's not too late to create new, wonderful memories. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Aya. He looks at me with a really gentle smile that I've never seen before. My heart skips a beat, and for an unknown reason, I feel both really happy and kind of embarrassed to see the face for the first time. How weird. Anyway, your life will be even busier from now on. You should probably start thinking about how you'll help ease her into her new life. Yeah. What's wrong? I think I'll be less worried if you help me. Oh? Sorry, what? He's Don't gotta play. be dead. Come come play mom. <laughs> Don't play dumb. You heard me perfectly the first time. Hmm? I need your help. Says the guy who didn't want me to meddle in his life no matter what a few months ago. That was before I... Before what? Never mind. You're a useless idiot. What? I'm not going to help you then. I don't care, moron. He stands <laughs> up and starts walking towards the stairs. Teasing hey, too much. what were you about to say? Wait for me. Uh, weeks later. We spent several days cleaning and decorating the house. And it's now the day of Akane's discharge. I stand in front of her hospital room with Icky, who's more nervous than his usual self. You're shaking. 
I feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh no, oh, why? Baby. I'm nervous as hell. Ugh. I stroke his back, concerned. Oh. There, there. I already told you. You don't have to worry. Everything will be fine. How can you be so sure about that? I'm still a kid myself. What if I'm not able to take care of her? What if she suffers because of me again? What if... Icky. Again, blaming yourself? I told you, you're a really great big brother. I know it. And I know she'll be happy with you. Aya. He grabs my hand and looks at me with searching eyes. I return his gesture. Gest... 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 Gesture. Gesture. <laughs> oh my god. It's the easy words that I'm stumbling over. His pat, 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 pat. You're doing a great job. And smile at him. Trying to look at confident as I can. Need some strength? Yes, please. I'll be right here, by your side. Thank you. Just as I squeeze his hand in reassurance, the door opens from the other side, and we come face to face with the little girl and her doctor. Akane hesitantly makes a small step forward. Hello? Akane, hello. How are you feeling? I'm feeling well, thank you. Iki lowers down in front of his sister and hands her the plushie he made just for her. See? I didn't forget about him today. Do you like him? She grabs it with sparkling eyes and immediately smiles from ear to ear. Let me see the plushie. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Thank you. Nah, they're not going to give us the plushie. Give me the plushie. Akane, Akane. Don't forget to thank Miss Doctor. She took care of you this whole time, after all. Oh, it was a Miss Doctor. <laughs> hey, thank you very much for taking care of me. Icky talks with the nurse, and it turns out we had to fill out more administrative papers before she can finally leave the hospital. Some people had visited the house a few days ago to check on Akane's future living environment, making sure that she would be raised well. There were some financial complications at first, since Ikki didn't have enough money for the both of them. But Toshio and Akira's parents insisted on helping them recover cover costs. The issue is cleared, and we're happily returning to the house. Akane asks him a lot of questions along the way, and I'm, and I'm learning about Ikki probably way more than I would have if I was the one asking. We finally arrive, and Ikki opens the door. Welcome home, Akane. Akira, Ryu, and Toshio were standing in the entrance, waiting for her. Discord did not uh, pick you up. <laughs> I one. Akane, welcome home. Hello. Uh, it's okay. They are your friends. They're nice people. I pointedly look at Toshio and smile teasingly. Although this one over here is a demon incarnate, you can actually easily trick him with some candies. Hey, you little... No, no, Toshiro. What did we say? No swearing and shouting today, remember? Uh, yes. Haha, <laughs> Toshi. You've become so obedient to little Aya these days. Shut your mouth. Ryu takes a step forward and brightly shines at Akane. My name is Ryu, and as you can see, I like the color pink. And I'm also super knowledgeable on a lot of topics. If you ever have any questions about life, fashion, history, medicine, or whatever, don't hesitate to ask me. Okay, thank you. Akane then turns to Akira and happily claps her, her hands together. Oh, I know you. You were the boy next to me when I woke up. Yes, hello. My name is Akira. I'm Toshio's little brother. We grew up together and attended the same schools. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you. I'm glad to have someone around my age. Uh, someone my age around. Speaking of school, will it be okay with all the months she missed? 
I discussed it with her teachers, and she's probably have she'll probably have to repeat the year. Repeat the year. Yes, because you might not have the level to follow your classmates, so you have to retake your classes and complete what you missed. I don't want to repeat a year. It'll be okay. Don't worry. No, I'll work hard to stay with my classmates. Wow, so determined. It's... It's not impossible. She's a quick learner like you, Icky. She might not remember her past memories, but she still has her cognitive abilities. She can talk, hear, read, and count perfectly. So, what is the problem? I can't accept that. She just left the hospital. She needs time to rest. I won't allow you to make her your lab rat, you know. Icky. Look at your poor little no! sister. Look at your poor little sister. Your poor little meow meow. Icky, how dare you? What? She's about to cry, poor thing. Uh, Akane, what's wrong? Are you hurt somewhere? I, I just want to do my best. I'm sure the other kids will reject me if I repeat a year, and, and... Even though she tries hard to hold them back, tears start rolling down her cheeks. See? She's crying now. Icky! I, <laughs> I look at Icky, who clearly doesn't know how to interact with her right now. What the frick, man? I bend down near his little sister and wipe her face with my sleeves. Hey, Akane? Don't cry, okay? I think it's great that you want to do your best at studying and catching up with the other kids. But it's a really hard way to do things, you know? I know, but I want to do it for real. I don't want to be left behind. You know what? Let's give it a try. I'll support you, and I'm sure Icky will too. Right, Icky? I don't know. He looks at the little girl in front of him while trying hard to meet her gaze without looking away. I'm just worried about you. You have to adapt to your new environment while trying to catch up with school and doing your rehab is too much. What if you overdo it and get ill? I would never forgive myself. See? But... I... Can I just try? If it's really as hard as you say, I'll stop. I promise. She's not going to. <laughs> no. <laughs> Icky looks at us and asks for our opinion. I know that you just want to take care of her, Icky. And it's understandable. But why not try out what she wants first? It's true that she just left the hospital. And I agree that it might be really difficult for her. But... I don't know if it's a good idea to be too protective, either. And also, I'm not worried about her catching up with the others. Her friends are dumb as shit, and she's really smart, <laughs> so... Like I said, she is a quick learner, and I'm sure it'll be easier than you think. If you and I take care of her studies... I... um... Akane? Are you sure? Yes. Keep in mind that the doctor said that you might have some issues with your concentration. Even if you still have the same personality and all your cognitive abilities. Plus, you have to visit the hospital twice a week for your arm rehab. It'll really be a lot of work for you. Yes, I know. She said that with determination, both in her gaze and her voice. This girl is really strong. I think most kids her age would just accept the fact and follow what the adults say, without giving their own opinion. She kind of reminds me of myself. It's funny. I still don't think it's a good idea, but... Okay. Let's try it. Really? Oh, thank you! That's great, Akane. But if you overdo it and I see that you can't keep up, I'm putting a stop to this immediately, okay? You seem to adapt really quickly to your environment. That's a relief. I'm so glad that part of you didn't change either. 
What a sweet little gentleman. Aww. When is the sequel where they <laughs> are going to see them? Oh my god, they're so cute. We'll write our own. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, sorry. Was I being rude or weird? Uh, not at all. You are still yourself, and that's a good thing. God, that's so cute. Oh. <sighs> I hope it'll be okay. The only thing I love more than watching high schoolers clumsily fall in love for the first time is watching grade, like, little elementary kids. Yes. Who don't even know what love is be in love with each other. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, absolutely. they're I'm just, like, so cute. Oh, let me pinch those cheeks. Like little nine and ten year olds who are actually <gasps> falling in love without realizing they're falling in love. Oh, so adorable. <laughs> so, now that it's settled, let's party. We take a moment to eat before showing the house to Akane. She's about to open the door to her bedroom when she spots the altar in a little recess in the wall. Oh, no. Oh, it's the mom. What is this? Mm, how can I put it? This is where you can say hello to the dead and give them gifts. The dead? Is this? Can I open it? Sure. Akane opens the little drawers, revealing their mother's picture. And, next to her, a photograph of a man whose face looks oddly familiar. Are these your parents? I notice that she doesn't refer to them as their parents. And I turn to Icky, a bit concerned. But he doesn't react and answers like nothing happened. Yes, they are. Your mom's beautiful. Do you think I'll grow up to be as pretty as her since she also gave birth to me? <laughs> Probably, yes. I pat Akane's head and chuckle. I don't doubt it for a second. You're already plenty cute. You might even be really popular in a few years. Really? Yep. Oh, big bro, you should start watching from afar to protect her from big bad wolves. I'm not too worried about that. I already know someone who'll fulfill the ro role of her personal bodyguard pretty well. Yeah! Yes! Right. <laughs> I forgot to greet them properly. Good day. My name is Akane, but you probably already know that since you were the people who chose my name. I'll say hello from time to time from now on. Bye-bye. Aww. We finish our house tour after that before Ryu and the others return to their own homes soon after. I stayed back to help Iki clean the house after the little party while Akane is resting in her room. Whew, almost done. The welcoming party was a huge success. Yeah. You don't really seem happy about it, though. I'm happy. I was just thinking that without you, I probably would have been able to handle this at all. I wouldn't have been able to handle this at all. And I'm relieved about a lot of things. I was so carefree before all this. Of course, I already had experience with death because of my father. But I tried my best to be positive every day to support the rest of the family. I had to raise Akane, watch over Ryu and Toshio, do the house chores, take care of utility bills, and go to school all at once. Honestly, it was really hard. Sometimes I got really close to breaking down and crying, but I couldn't. Mom was in a really long depression phase after Dad's death, and I couldn't just give up and show my weak side to Akane. Man, this is hitting me. Damn. I'm like, ooh, yeah, I understand that, Icky. Wow, oof. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's why they gave the warning. Me too, buddy. Because this can be super relatable. But when mom started to look better and happier, I, the accident, his voice cracked and he bites his lip. Sorry, I shouldn't bother you with this. It's okay. It's all right now. Aya. Hmm? I, I'm really happy that Akane woke up, but it still feels so unreal and scary. And I think it would be more comfortable for her and me if you stick around, so... 
You want a bit more help, right? Yes, please. Sorry for the selfish favor. It's totally okay. We're friends, and it doesn't bother me at all. Thanks, Aya. Really. <laughs> and, as promised, I helped him with a lot of different things. I even gave up on going on our school trip to stay by his and Nakane's side. Obviously, Iki felt bad and couldn't stop apologizing to me, no matter how many times I told him it was okay. Time passes as Akane does her best to adapt to her new environment while trying to catch up at school, and it soon becomes the day of our sports festival event. Yo, can you imagine this as one of the classmates? That there's like this moody, emo, quiet kid who, whose mom just, everybody knows his mom just died. He's an orphan, and he's got a little sister in a coma, and the new girl comes, and she forces him to be friends, and then the girl wakes up, and then you're going on your class trip, and the two of them stay behind to take care of his little sister. I'd be, like, filling out my wedding in RSVP already. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, my God. I it's would like, be losing it as a classmate. I just point at them and go, they're going to get married. <laughs> I'll be like, oh my god, they're already in love. They're they're married. <laughs> oh. I'd start calling them mom and dad. Look, we're already like, in the middle of October from September 17th or 18th, I think. Time flies. Jeez. Time flies when you're raising a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. <sighs> I wouldn't know, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Sports Festival is finally here. All the preparations are done, and the opening ceremony starts with the Student Council Vice President's official speech. The families are here as spectators. I instinctively glance at Icky, who stands some steps behind me. He looks nervous, tapping the ground with his feet and fidgeting with the hem of his shirt. I want to cheer him up, but I can't do that while the Vice President is talking. Then, as if Icky read my mind, our eyes meet. I smile at him while doing a discreet okay sign with my fingers, and he answers me back with a timid smile, imitating my gesture. Job. <laughs> Vice President ends his speech, and the event starts a few minutes later. We all get started in our respective teams, mine being Team Red like Iki, Ryu, Haru, and Minami. Yeah! Since my and Icky's event doesn't start right away, we're waiting for our turn with the others while encouraging our comrades. Comrade. My Hydrate comrade. Hydrate! Are you hydrating too? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. I remember Toshio sulking like a kid when he realized that he was in the white team, and obviously not with Icky. I wonder if he even took the trouble to, to participate. Me. <laughs> oh, blot out the sun of my hydrates. <laughs> Are you talking about Toshi? <laughs> to quote Ryu, when you know this guy's weaknesses, you can do whatever you want of him. So yeah, we tempted him with A-plus sweets, and now he's participating in four different events. Ooh. Don't say that to Ichigo or her imagination will go wild. <laughs> True. Oh, looks like Ryu's event is over. Are you ready for ours? What a pain. But I don't have a choice. So let's go. Three leg race. What a drag. <laughs> we moved it's to the track field. Race. Oh, yeah. And they're going to have to arms wrapped around Tie their each legs other. Together. Uh, yeah, it's going to be great. We moved to the track field, ready to start the race. As we are about to take our respective positions, I raise my hand towards Icky for a high 10. We're the last two runners for oh, this. No. You can count on me to pass you the stick. Ooh, baton. He looks at me with an amused look and clasps my hands. And you can count on me to win the race. Okay, it's almost my turn. As I prepare myself to run with all my might, I notice as one of the opposing runners passes by me, and I anxiously turn around to see that the person passing me, the baton is lagging behind the others. Fortunately, she wasn't the last one, and I quickly make up for the lost time. 
Icky, go! He immediately dashes and manages to win the race in the final stretch. You did it! Pulls out that Uchiha speed. I let him catch his breath and hand him a bottle of water. Thanks. Ryu and Tosho Toshio meet with us not long after that. That was cool, guys! Not bad. Yeah, you saved the day, Icky. You're awesome. He softly taps the bottom. Uh, he softly taps the top of my head and smiles at me. Idiot. I would have never succeeded without you. I think that this is the first time you're making such a face to me. It's usually reserved for your sister. S so what? Is it bad to praise you? Fine, I'll stop if you don't like it. I grab his hand and put it back on my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can even pat me if you want. Stop that. Uh, no, he will not pat you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, the jealous girlfriend is back. <laughs> <laughs> Lou. Anyway, it's time for the break, Toshi. You should go to the infirmary before the next event. Ugh, right. I'm going to see Akane then. I spotted her in the crowd earlier. Are you coming too, Aya? Sure. I happily follow him while trying to spot Akane among the other visitors. But she finds us first. E Aya! Akane, hello. How are you? Did you see us run? Iki is so cool, right? Yes, he was the coolest! Th thanks I was surprised since you mentioned that you weren't really athletic. I'm not, but I'm not that bad at activities that only require a lot of energy for a short while. By the way, Akane, are you by yourself? Oh no, I came with Aki. He's waiting for me over there. Yes. Akira's here too? I turn my head towards the visitor's area and spot him waving his hand at us with a smile. Well, probably looking after their belongings. He's just tea posing over there. He's like, <laughs> mm, I'm going to protect this girl with my life. I'm, I'm 10 years old I'm, and I already have my life planned out. I I've just, already got a 401k saving up for us. <laughs> I was just going to say something similar to that. Like, I'm 10 years old and I'm already here. <laughs> We're already betrothed. His parents aren't here? No, they were too busy to attend the fest uh, the event. I see. Well, tell Kira I said hi for me. Well, the next God, event. it is difficult not to make my voice too high for this. I know, right? But it, it'll be, it's fine. It's fine. The next event will oh the next event will start soon. We should go and get ready. Oh, the three legged race, right? Yeah. Honestly, yes. I wanted to rest a bit before doing another race. But Ryu was becoming pretty annoying about it, so anyway, I hope I don't screw up the I don't screw up for this one. It's a bit stressful. As long as you don't make her sound like Toad. No, that's me. Hello! <laughs> I'm sorry, which Toad are you talking about? I think Mario. Mario's Toad. What? No, I mean what the fuck was that impression? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> It, it was a toad in my throat. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Go. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about it. I'm worrying. No, 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 no. Don't worry, big bro. You're the best. <laughs> That's me. Don't worry, big bro. You're the best. She cheerfully jumps into his arms and gives him a big hug. I look at Icky, amused. His gaze clearly says, what am I supposed to do now? But, uh, I guess I'll let him handle it by himself for once. I'm going to see Ichigo and Haru. See you later, Akane. Few hours later, after the event. Oh, we did do the three-legged race? No, I guess he did it with someone else. <gasps> Me! And I'm so beat! That was a pretty annoying event. You don't really like this kind of thing, right, Haru? Indeed. I thought Icky would avoid the team activities, but strangely, 
It was only you and Toshio who have participated in just the individual ones. Don't lump me together with that despicable moron. Unlike him, I don't have anything against physical contact, but only from people I trust. Hold up. <laughs> hey, I can't wait for the Haru path. <laughs> wait. Wait, who's there? Haru is the girl on the left. Yeah. We get to date her. Oh, yeah, but Leech was like, I missed something. What's with the hair? Oh, I, I her think... hair's just cute. Yeah, I think that's the same hairstyle. Yeah, it's the same. She just cute. She be cute. For example, it wouldn't be a bother if Ichigo clings onto me. It would be annoying, though, because she's a natural pain to handle. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was the gremlin. Oh. Uh... But I wouldn't ruthlessly shove her away because I trust her and she's my friend. Aw, thanks, Hachan. I love you. What about me? You. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I'm totally gonna be okay with the individual who's coming toward us over there. Never. Is it Toshia? Oh, Ryu. Ugh, Ryu. I'd rather him not be here. He's ruining my ship. Did Haru just avoid my question? <laughs> hey, girls. Hi. Hello. God, you had the voice all three. <laughs> Toshio's not with you? Nah, but I should look after him. He's in the infirmary again. Bye. Why isn't Icky the one tending him? Why should it be me? And I'm too tired to handle that guy's moodiness right now. I'll just wait here. I'm gonna buy some drinks. You want anything, Aya? No, thanks. I'm fine. I'm going to. See you later. Icky lays on the grass near me, looks looking at this guy, and I do the same. It feels weird. Oh no. Are you sick or something? Want some water? Me to rub your tummy? Oh, let me rub your tummy. My tummy is exposed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, today was fun. It's been a while since I felt so blissful. I feel happy, but sad at the same time. I wish my parents could see me for the event. But on the other hand, I'm so glad Akane was here instead. How weird. You look more happy than sad, though. So don't think too much about it, okay? What? You sort of always say what I want to hear. It's unfair. Unfair? What do you mean? Never mind. By the way, why did you run away earlier? I need you to help with Akane. What are you talking about? You're perfectly fine without me. Plus, I'm sure you noticed it. She called you big bro, right? Aren't you happy? Idiot. Of course I'm happy. Stop calling me idiot, you idiot. <laughs> hey, are you laughing at me? Maybe. Ugh. He stands up and extends his hand to me. Come on. It's almost time for us to clean up. Oh, yeah. I stand as well, but he doesn't let go of my hand. <gasps> is this it? Come is this on. This is the moment. Is Come something on. is something wrong? Say, Aya. Hmm. You were so persistent, so annoying when we first met. A real pain in the ass. Hey. But in the end, I'm really glad. Maybe if you weren't by my side right now, I would be a totally different person. Probably a really lame person, in fact. Don't say that. I'm sure Ryu and Toshio would have helped you in any situation. I didn't do much anyway. No, I'm serious. Thank you, Aya, for being by my side when I needed you. Our encounter, Akane waking up when she called me big brother for the first time earlier. Even the fact that I can now express my feelings a bit more easily than before. I feel like it wouldn't have been possible without you around. So, yeah. He gently squeezes my hand and a warm feeling spreads in my chest. It's embarrassing. 
But can I ask you a favor one more time? Sh sure. Will you be my friend and support me while I'm raising Nakane? Will you be my wife? Wait, yeah, isn't that already? Right <laughs> isn't that already the case? Yeah, but I wanted to ask you officially. Uh, well then, I'll continue to support you as a friend and your family's fairy godmother. <laughs> What's with that? You kind of remind me of Cinderella. Anyway, today was a huge success. Your sister acknowledged you, and we won the sports tournament. Yup. And from now on, we'll make every day a big success in your life. Sometimes it'll probably be hard, but if we're here for each other, we'll be the strongest. A bit like partners in crime? Why crime, though? But yeah, that's the idea. Alright, then. For, around, for now on, please take care of us, partner. Oh, the dramatic! Yeah! <laughs> oh, look at that! That is look cute! That. Look at that shit! <laughs> <laughs> that is great. He raises a oh. loose fist, waiting for me to complete the jester. Sure, you can definitely count on me, because I'm counting on you too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. A few seconds pass, and he finally looks me in the eye. His face slightly red. Thank you. You're welcome. As we exchange our affirmation of friendship, a sudden giggle brings us to the moment. Uh oh, Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A bro fist bump or something? <laughs> nothing special. Ugh, please. I just came back from the infirmary. Don't make me sick again. Ignoring Toshio's comment, I turn to him and smile. I will not let the mood be wasted by his whining. Are you feeling better, Toshio? Aww. So, I, like, I like how it went from angry to, oh! I am excited for our route with him next. Yeah. Surprised by my sudden concern, he gulps audibly before clumsily muttering his response. Yeah, well, why do you ask anyway, ugly? You know, as strange as it may seem, I am capable of feeling worry for you. Shut up, I'm leaving. He said that while stomping angrily towards the building, leaving us behind. Normally, I would ask what the hell is wrong with him, but I think I'm used to it now. Congratulations, getting used to that guy means officially being one of us. I can't wait for you guys to take the next step. Next step? Next step to what? You know, to lovers. Are you crazy? Hold on, Ryu. Ryu wants the whole group to date. <laughs> I'll never let Toshi date Aya. Wait, why not? Yeah, why not, huh? I'm curious, too. I mean, you're my friend now, and Toshio is my friend, too. I know him best, and it would drive you guys nuts to be together as a couple. He's super toxic to handle for a sane person. I don't want you to murder each other, is all. Sure. Well, it's a good reason, but worry not. I don't plan on becoming his girlfriend, or toy, or whatever. Oh. Oh? Oh? <laughs> In fact, being in a relationship doesn't really interest me, so... Oh, he didn't want to hear that. Too bad. What? It's nothing. <laughs> anyway, we should also head back to school. Yep. And after about two hours of cleaning duty, we're finally able to go home. Phew, we're finally done. Want to drop by somewhere and relax? I want to go home to see if Akane is all right. Let's go to your house then. I watch them walk towards the school gate and wonder if I have to tag along when Icky turns to me. Aren't you coming? Y yeah, I'm coming too. A few minutes later. Akane, we're home. No answer. <gasps> Akane? 
Uh oh. I can hear the panic creeping into his voice. She isn't here. Ah, uh, maybe she's. Ryu doesn't have time to finish his sentence as Iki is already rushing to the living room. Akane! I follow after Iki in a hurry before shortly coming to a stop right behind him, who's just standing at the threshold of the living room. When I look over Iki's shoulder, I can't help smiling out of relief. She and Akira are sleeping, shoulder to shoulder, on the floor against the <laughs> sofa. I swear, I swear. Let me see it. How cute. See, I saw Aki's shoes at the entrance. If you had let me finish my sentence, you wouldn't have been stressed out for nothing. Jeez, you need to chill seriously. I'm always afraid that this game's going to throw a Doki Doki at us. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> yeah. Probably woken up by the shouting a second ago. Akira opened his eyes first and smiles groggily at us, seemingly unaware of our earlier distress. Oh, welcome back. Oh. Welcome back. Sorry, did I wake you up? Uh, it's fine. You don't need to worry. Akira then turns to Akane, concerned, and pats her head. <laughs> yeah. God. Do you want to rest a bit longer? Tell me if you're still tired, okay? I'm fine. I don't want to sleep anymore, but I'm kind of hungry. Oh, wait here. I'll get you some snacks. God, the oh, perfect 10-year-old boyfriend. God. Oh my god. I'll get the oh pizza rolls god. done. <laughs> I will get us some fruit by the foot. <laughs> would you like would you prefer uh apple juice or grape juice? <laughs> Can I open your gummies for you? <laughs> oh, God. I can't help it. I love them so much. <laughs> I sliced this. I sliced uh, this some well, apple slices. <laughs> I arranged them in the shape of a heart. I hope you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I peeled an orange for you. I know it would be too difficult for your small, nimble, delicate fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's too much. <sighs> it's too much for me. <laughs> See, Icky, with Aki around, you don't need to worry so much. I wonder what went wrong with you, though, Toshio. Are you sure you're his older brother? Shut up. <laughs> uh, why does he look so disheartened? Hey guys, I want to eat some meat and fried shrimps, so let's go eat out. I'm broke, and I told you that I just wanted to be at home. You already know I hate restaurants because they're crowded and stuffy. Oh my god, just call DoorDash. But I want meat and fried shrimps. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> what about getting takeout and eating it here? Oh, good idea! I'm still broke. Meanwhile, Akira returns to the living room with snacks for everyone. I cannot figure out whether or not the twist is going to be that Ryu is a little shithead. Oh. Or he's gay. Oh. He's the last one we're supposed to date. So, like, I'm like, which one is it going to be? It's one or the other. Because they said that girls will try to date him and then... They yeah. just disappear. Well, not disappear, but yeah. like, they just go away. They just give up. So I, like, I'm like, he's either gay or some kind of little shit fuck. Yeah. I'm here for it either way. Uh, I mean, we've seen how mischievous it gets. Oh, yeah. He's real mischievous. He's a little gremlin either way. He loves his <laughs> chaos, but yeah. Uh, I always think of him as the Cheshire Cat. He's just like, oh, I'm going to stir the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Here, Ryu, you can eat this as you wait to help satiate your hunger. Oh my god. Thanks! He is he is such a man, like a gentleman. He's so different than butler. Toshio. He's a little butler boy. So, what are we doing? I really want meat and fried shrimps, so I'll pay. 
I want pudding. And a cola. Okay. And you can buy me a cola, too. Oh, and... Wait, I'm not the one going. I'm just giving you the money. What? You were the one who was... Wait, hold on. You were the one who brought up wanting to eat out. No, that was me. But I don't want to go anymore. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> don't bother asking me, because I'm obviously not going either. Are you kidding me? Here's the money. Oh, and don't worry about the change. You can have it. I'm not going. So, we aren't eating fried shrimps? Too bad. Since Ryu, uh, Big Bro mentioned it, I kind of wanted to eat it too. Partners in crime. <laughs> Poor little Akane. You must be so disappointed. Fine, fine. I'll take your stupid cash, moron. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Kiki. I love you. Shut your mouth. I barely have time to put my shoes on, as Icky has already started walking outside. Wait for me, I'm going too. You don't have to come. So cold. Is he mad? Oh, is it because she said Ryu, big bro? Maybe. I don't think so. Don't think It's like, it's like, uh, like, young. It's like, it's like, that's what you just call, like, older guys kind of thing. Mm. Don't pay too much attention to what Ryu said. That's not it. I'm used to his behavior. It's just, I feel useless to Akane. Even though she left the hospital not too long ago. Not so long ago. I already mm. feel like she doesn't need my help anymore. As always, you're worried for nothing. Even though I've told you many times that it's okay. Sorry. Icky rarely apologizes, but when he does, he always has a troubled look on his face. It makes it easy to guess when he's feeling bad when he feels bad about something. We pick up the food without exchanging any other words and quickly return to the house where everybody everybody's waiting. Wait, how can you... Oh, ma exchanging words to each other maybe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that threw me off. I'm like, I mean, technically a lot of restaurants you just go to and they have like a menu that's on a screen and you put it in. So technically you could wordlessly order it, but yeah, I can get that. I've seen that McDonald's They just need to each other. Yeah, we have a lot of restaurants like that. Ah, finally, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Akira must have noticed Icky's sour mood because he looks our way with an inquiring look on his face. Ryu notices it well and doesn't hesitate to point it out. Oh, why the long face, Icky? None of your business. I'm going to bed. Without eating? No need. Ugh, what's wrong with him? Hey, ugly, what did you say to him? Nothing, I swear. He was acting like that since we left the house earlier. It's almost like he's the icky from the beginning of the year again. Seriously? I have to deal with both Toshi and Icky being angry at the world again? Uh, no, thank you. Someone needs to fix this. All eyes turn to me. Go get what? That pussy. Me? I'm not good at comforting people. If I go, he'll just throw things at me and tell me to leave him alone. Okay, okay. I'll go do it. Is Icky angry or sick or something? She asked, concerned, and I smiled to reassure her. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. Now close your ears. <laughs> Quick, someone get the headphones. Somebody go on a walk around the block with Hakane. <laughs> <laughs> I stand up and walk to Icky's room. Icky? What do you want? May I? May you what? <laughs> I enter the room and shut the door softly. Icky is sulking on his bed with his back towards me. Little Spoon. He draws away as I take a seat next to him. W what? Are you upset? 
He avoids my gaze and turns his head away while pouting. Not really. Oh, he's got the little <laughs> pouty face. Look at him, little baby man. <laughs> That's a new expression. Is it bad that I think it's pretty cute when he looks like a petulant child? Petulant. Petulant child. I know that word because people always say I'm petulant. Oh, you little petulant child. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you tell me to go to bed, Meadow. Yes. Me. <laughs> always. Always. Every day. I know I should stop myself, but I can't help getting closer to him and squeezing his cheeks between my fingers. Oh, yes, we squeeze his cheeks. So soft. What are you doing? Stop it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? St Hold on. What are you doing? Stop it. No one since I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He retaliates by pinching mine back. You stop no. it. He squishes my face between his hands, which makes me release my grip, and I place my hands on his wrists. Oh, yeah. You look like an idiot. And you look like an old potato. <laughs> he bursts out laughing. His unrestrained laughter is contagious as I immediately break into a fit of giggles. What is this weird feeling? I feel happy and warm inside seeing him smile, but somehow it's different from usual. Before, I would normally think it'd be a bit weird to be this close to him. But strangely, it feels natural. Or Why are you moving in? So I thought. As I was de 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 deliberating. Deli deliberating. Thank you. Got you. The changing feelings within me. He had loosened his grips and is now softly cradling my face oh. in his palms. His thumb brushing over my cheeks gently. Oh. Not homie. It's about the hot and steamy in here. Oh. The Pizza, silence. I'm getting railed apex. Oh. Homie, you're here for the climactic point. The silence after our laughter feels awkward, and I'm taken aback when I notice how his face is turning a bit red. Even though his blush reminds me of all the times before when he was flustered, his gaze this time is steady. I start to feel anxious for no apparent reason. As he looks like he has something important to say. As I'm about to ask what's wrong, he speaks first. Hey, want to go out with me? Out? Out of the house? Er, kind of. Da 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 <laughs> Right now, do you feel sick or something? Need some fresh air? No, I mean, like next weekend, are you free? Oh, sure. I'll ask Akane where she wants to go. Okay. I think she wanted to go shopping at the mall. We could do that, then stop somewhere to eat at Idiot. Hey, why? This time it's, yeah, she deserves it this time. Yeah. It's nothing. He abruptly stands up, sulking again. No. All right. I'm going to ask her where she wants to go. W wait, Icky. We fucked up. Oh, my God. Aya. It was totally Aya's fault this time. Oh, my God. Aya, I'm so happy you're coming with us. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I'm happy, too. <laughs> it was so close. He, our face was in the palm of his hands. He was brushing and caressing our cheek. How is like, ha, ah, that's funny. You're, you funny. <laughs> Just bros being bros. I don't God care. Bros it. can make out. <laughs> oh my God. Yo. Hi. By the way, there's going to be a small change in today's schedule. Instead of eating out, my parents are offering to have lunch with us at our house. Oh, we're going to eat at your place? Awesome! 
The more the days pass, the more Akane starts to talk more naturally, slowly regaining what probably was her former way of interacting with people. <laughs> hey, it happens. It's nice, and I'm sure Aki is glad too. What? I'm not ready for that. Why do you need to be ready? My parents are pretty chill people, you know. Y yeah, I guess. But are you sure it's okay for us to go? If it wasn't, you wouldn't have been invited. True. Shall we go, then? You wanted to buy a present for Akira's birthday, right, Akane? Yeah, but I don't know what he likes. I bet he'll be super happy with anything you choose for him. I got this strap on, but I don't know how to make it work. No, you can't do that. She's 10. Okay, fair. We, we decided to keep these wholesome. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now, if it was Ryu, that's a different story. <laughs> it's a completely different story when we get to the older kids. Yes. <laughs> I got him these wedding rings, but... <laughs> okay, fair. There we go, there we go. Okay, I changed it. Really? I can't wait to buy him a gift then. No, I have a strap on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> we walked for a few minutes before arriving at the mall. I glanced at Akane, whose eyes widened in open amazement. If I remember well, it's her first time coming here since she woke up. There are so many shops in the same place. Do you want to walk around a bit before searching for Aki's present? Lewd. <laughs> it's Sorry. okay. It's okay. We're, yes. we're talking about Ryu and Haru. Oh, yeah. We're talking about Haru. <laughs> <laughs> it's, obvious, it's obvious Haru does not like Ryu and Ryu don't like Haru. Mostly. That, that, that makes it a good ship. <laughs> I don't think that's obvious. I think that Haru is just real gay for us and is that's, upset that we be straight. That's true. Until that's we're not. That is. Until we're think, not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Until we get there. Ooh, baby. I have a feeling she puts on that dummy mommy feeling and then oh, once we. I hope so. Once we. <laughs> <laughs> once we return to feeling, she'd be like, ooh, ooh, no, please. <laughs> God, please let there be a scene where we brush the hair out of her face. Yes. Ugh. We wander for a bit from shop to shop, talking and joking about our findings before taking a break at a bench near a fountain. Are you okay, Akane? We were walking for a while now. I'm just a little tired, but I'm fine. We should figure out what to buy for Akira soon, because it's almost time for us to leave for lunch. Mm-hmm. Even though I've known him his entire life, I don't really know what he likes either. And he seems really adult light too. More adultish than his big brother. But I believe he likes books, right? He's always reading. Oh, nice. What kind of books? Yep. <laughs> sorry, I had to take that one for a second. It's like, I'm sorry? <laughs> Economics and politics. Are you kidding me? What kind of 10-year-old kid reads that sort of stuff? I know another brat who was reading books like that at that age, too. What? Who? Ah, uh, but that's true. Aki's always reading complicated things. I feel childish compared to him because I like fairy tales. Oh, no. Akane, don't worry. I would say it's rather normal to like fairy tales when you're a kid. And you know what? Even adults like them. Everyone has different tastes. I see. What about a young adult fantasy book? I think he, he's never read anything other than economics and politics. But maybe he'll prefer a more mature fairy tale. And there could be politics and fantasy too. That might be a good choice. We end our shopping soon after. And we're now at my house. On the way home... I warn Iki and Akane that my mother's always running her mouth before thinking and that they shouldn't mind it too much. My mom comes in all bloodied. <laughs> my mom always running her mouth. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed. You and her have some things in common. <laughs> Oof. To tell the truth, I feel a bit anxious. 
Mom really likes to tease me, and I'm sure that she won't miss the opportunity, especially with Icky around. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to see you again, Icky. I'm really sorry about last time. Please, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. Mom turns her attention to Aki. I mean, Akane. Oh, my God. He's here. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Aki? And who is this little angel? Akane takes a step forward and starts to speak shyly while holding out a courtesy gift. Good day. My name is Akane, and I'm Iki's little sister. It's nice to meet you, and thank you for the invitation. How cute. Where's Dad and Takishi? Normally, they would be at the entrance bothering our guests with a lot of questions as soon as they come in. I know, and it's for that reason that I told them to quietly wait in the living room. I glance over her shoulder. Dad They're frothing at the mouth in the doorway. <laughs> it's like, we need to ask them, when are you getting pregnant? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Dad and Takashi are peeking at us from the doors interlocking. Yeah, I can see that. Mom turns to them with the vaguely angry look. Hey, you. I couldn't help it but be curious. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't remember the voice I gave. He smokes a pack a day. <laughs> I was just exercising my parental authority and told him to go back to the living room. Liar, you're the one who's just taking a peek. Shh. Why does he sound like he's younger than, like, Icky and all that? Like, he's the older brother. Anyway, come on in. The food's already on the table. Wait, who sounds younger? Takashi. Takashi's I, their older brother. I gave him this voice. What do you expect? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah. Sister's getting slammed. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's going to say something racist. Oh, God. <laughs> Salty chocolate balls. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry for intruding. Sorry for intruding. All right, I'll, I'll be more serious with the older brother. They entered the living room, and Dad and Takashi immediately rushed towards them. Hello, I'm Aya's dad. Can I call you Icky? Yes, sure. Nice to meet you, sir. Hi, Takashi here. I'm Aya's big bro. You can call me whatever you want, but I prefer Takun. Takun is a bit... No, really. Call me Takun. No formalities between us. We're around the same age, after all. They're the same age. What are you talking about? The older. The same age. He's older. And you might end up being my son-in-law someday, so I don't think we should bother with the formalities, okay? <laughs> she winks at Icky, who immediately turns red. S sorry, what? Mom, stop bothering him. Jeez. I was half joking, though. <laughs> Seeing Icky become more and more frazzled, I start to get the condoms out, so I quickly change the top. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we should eat while it's still hot. Oh my god. Dinner was more lively than usual. Wait, I thought we were there for lunch. Dinner was it. more lively than usual, and Mom kept asking embarrassing questions, but I was able to... I was able to see Icky and Akane earnestly smile several times, so I guess it's okay. Soon after the dinner, Icky tries to escape, claiming that he wouldn't want the both of them to overstay their welcome. Unfortunately, Mom tied him to the table. Oh my god. <laughs> my mother is even pushier than me and Takun combined and doesn't give him a choice. Ready, it's still early and you aren't bothering us at all. He glances at me for help. I snicker and he rolls his eyes at me, resigned, understanding that I won't be saving him. Oh, right, Akane, do you want to see the rest of the house in my bedroom? Can I? It sounds fun. 
Icky, do you want to tag along? Uh, not okay. being extra. I'm not being too extra. <laughs> we tour the house real quick, with my room as the last stop. And here's the basement. <laughs> my water bowl's in the corner. Don't worry about that. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sajid is on his crazy shit right now. <laughs> God is a myth that I have the willpower to rip the faz balls off of Freddy Fazbear. Jesus shit, homie. Apparently, homie Maybe don't like... Maybe you need to relax and watch the stream for a little while. Homie doesn't like animatronics. Homie loves animatronics. Well, I don't know why they would give animatronics balls to begin with. Homie loves animatronics. And this is the end of the journey. How was it? I like your house. Akane, we should really go now. Aw, but I want to stay more. Honestly, you could stay for days, months, years. <laughs> I have been. <laughs> I can't leave. <laughs> as long as you help with the chores, my parents would totally be okay with it. I can see that. They've already handcuffed me. <laughs> oh, jeez. They've already made me sign a prenup. <laughs> They're really friendly and open-minded. I think they're good parents. They're also a bit of pushy at times, but they kind of remind me of our own before. He swallows hard before ending his sentence in a quiet murmur. Before they died. We never talk about them, so I'm a bit curious. What kind of people were they? We have a hydrate to kill the oh. fire. Yes, take an extra gulp for me, please. You sassy, sassy boy. <sighs> Yummy. Uh, Akane, I'm not sure this is a good time to ask. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Mom was really strong mentally and physically. Always with a smile. Friendly like Aya's mom. I think she was kind of like a second mother for Toshio, too. Even though her childish side bothered me sometimes, she knew when to be serious. And Dad, he was a quiet and earnest person, really selfless. He liked nature, poetry, and taking beautiful photos. Mom often teased him about it and would call him flower boy or precious boy, sometimes puppy. Affectionately, of course. <laughs> Icky's eyes were sparkling as he spoke fondly about him, but then his gaze darkens and his voice becomes stifled. Stifled. But, unlike Mom, his body has always been weak and he died from an uncommon illness when I started middle school. It was then that Mom became a succubus and she eventually oh, started shutting herself in the house for a while. Bro, no, you're doing the thing where you're deflecting with comedy. Do it good. Shit. It's bittersweet for a reason. Fine, fine. <clears throat> you're right. It was then that mom stopped smiling, and she eventually started shutting herself in the house for a while. He struggles to finish his sentence and smiles weakly at us. Sorry. I think it's still a bit hard to talk about. Don't worry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. Don't apologize. You had the right to know. Maybe right now it's hard for me to talk about, but... But I think I'll be over it sooner or later. So when the time comes, I'll talk to you about it again, okay? Mickey. Oh, no. The two siblings are about to cry. I have to lighten up the mood. Quick, get in the shower. <laughs> oh my god, stop. I'll tease you. I'll get the cattle prod. <laughs> you mean the... The colon cow pro? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? The colon cow prod. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> The <laughs> you do the colon cow prod. <laughs> what the fuck? No. 
by the way. Into the fields. Do you want to watch a movie? I have some that are really funny. Yeah, why not? But is it really okay for us to stay this late? I already told you it's okay, right? Uh. Plus, starting tomorrow, we're going to be busy preparing for the culture festival, and we won't have much time to relax like this. Oh, right. It'll be my first time participating in that kind of thing. Due to the circumstances, it doesn't surprise me all that much. Akane is baffled, though, and asks him why. Since Dad died right after my middle school entrance ceremony, I was busy taking care of you and Mom most of the time. And last year, I didn't really have the heart nor spirit for it. I see. Ah, found the DVD. I turned you the are I, uh, I found the DVD. Please stop talking about sad things. Look, look. <laughs> you are Io. I turned the TV on and sit on the floor next to Iki while Akane lays her head on my lap. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm a bit surprised as I didn't see that coming, and she did that quite naturally. Uh, I'm sorry, does it bother you? Not at all. Do as you please. Eh, lap pillow. He's jealous. I snicker and question Iki, amused. Are you perhaps jealous? What? No way. Don't say dumb things like that, idiot. Are you teasing him? Yes, and I can, as you can see, it's super effective. Yeah! Don't agree with her? Jeez. Anyway, let's watch this damn movie and go quickly go home. All right, everyone. Starting today, we will focus on preparing for the cultural festival. But we first have to choose what our class will do. I heard... I heard... Oh. oh, you want to do it? Yeah, I'll Go do this it. one. I heard that another class has already decided to do a haunted house. And one organizing a fashion show. So we can't do those. The fashion show is being held by third years, right? It seems to be a huge success every year. Maybe we could do something with food. Isn't Mira's class already doing that? They haven't decided yet, and I didn't hear anything food-related from them either, so... Hmm, what can we do? Hmm, what can we do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any ideas to suggest. I glanced at Ichigo, wondering why she hasn't jumped at the first opportunity to impose her opinions on the class yet. Isn't she class president? Uh, representative. She's the female uh. representative. She's visiting, looking at Haru with begging eyes. Oh, she wants to do a cafe. I can't hear what the whispering about from where I'm sitting, but it looks like Haru just lost the ich Ichigo. Yep, she totally resigned herself. Now the next course of action would be... As I thought, not a second later, does our overly excited little fangirl stand up with sparkling eyes. The fucking cafe. cafe. <laughs> <The> cafe. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Ichigo then asked the rest of the class. What do you think about that, guys? They don't seem to think it's a bad idea, and some are even saying that it'll be fun. So, the cafe suggestion becomes official. After that, we have to choose a theme. It's close to a tie between Magical Girl and Cross-Dressing Cafe. But in the end, it's the Butler Cafe that beats them out. Please let me see Haru in a little butler outfit. The more we discuss what we could do, the more excited the class gets. Well, at least most of them. Some people don't seem okay with what we've decided by majority vote. What's wrong, Icky? How does that girl always end up getting what she wants? <laughs> and she even convinced the teacher to allow animal ears. <laughs> Too bad you're one of the guys chosen to work front of front of house shifts. Don't remind me. There's no way I'll wear those things. But I want to see it. No. Come on, Icky. 
Everyone knows that you'll wear it for her in the end. What? No. I bet you'll do it anyway. I wouldn't bet on it. Why are you afraid of losing? <laughs> no, I'm not. It's just too childish and I don't have the time to indulge you. I'm leaving. Running away, huh? He stands up and rushes out before bumping into Ryu and Toshio at the door. Yeah! Ryu! Great Mira! As always, Ryu seems amused about something that's, that'll probably trouble Iki, and Toshio is giving dirty looks at the crowd slowly forming around him. Iki! Nice timing! I have some good news for you! Oh god, he got him a cattail, didn't he? Oh boy. I heard that your class is doing a butler cafe. Sounds fun. They literally just voted on it. How did the news travel that fast? That's why Ryu is like the Cheshire Cat. He just knows things. <laughs> He's like, I've got the whole school tapped. I sit in a room full of TV Oh my god. <laughs> and guess what? I, the super generous and noble Ryu, will help you in this endeavor. No, thank you. So you should gotta... see the pose that I'm sitting in right now. I'm literally like <laughs> gremlin on this chair, all like my legs <laughs> up, my arms at like obtuse angles, just leaning forward like a little gargoyle. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> wow, at least listen to what I have to say. Fine. I can provide the help. It's... I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all of them? But it'll be rather expensive, and it's not even your class. Worry not, I have money. This guy's throwing his money. I have to take money. your measurements, and I also need oh someone God. for the designs. The faster it's done, the better it'll be. Is that all? Well, until I'm done with the measurements thing, and I find a clothes designer, yes. Okay, then no, thank you. You don't have a choice. I already had the teachers. Oh my god. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> Poor Icky. This man said put on the ears and love it. Ahem. I heard something about handmade outfits and their designs. I would normally not cooperate with someone like you who could potentially be the hidden psycho character of the story, but make an exception for once. Yeah, nice. You're part of the anime club, right? Correct. I see that you're well informed. Let's discuss the festival stuff then. Ryu, can we leave now? Ryu takes a look in Toshio's direction, who's surrounded by a horde of girls. He looks like he's about to faint. Hey, uh, can't you handle it a bit more? Like, two more hours? I can't. Okay, people. Can you let him breathe for a second, please? Tuchio, let's go get some fresh air. Yeah. Is he okay? He's really pale. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> he turns back to Ichigo, not paying much attention to his friend's state, and they start talking about the outfits in more detail. Realizing that I have nothing much to do, I follow Iki and Toshio outside. I see the two making out. Oh. Why are you following us? No particular reason. You don't want me to? Whatever. The three of us sit on the grass in the usual spot behind the main building. By the way, Toshio, what is your class doing for the culture festival? We're one of the classes in charge of helping students during the events. Helping? I can't imagine you helping people at all. I guess you aren't doing it then, right? Exactly. Jeez. What? Nothing. If you have something to say, just spit it out. Nah, never mind. I bet Icky wanted to tell Toshio to participate, but felt hesitant because he was the same way not too long ago. Well, I suppose it won't kill me to try and help convince Toshio. Hey, Toshio. You should just give it a try. Four want to and there's no point in doing it i don't want to be involved with other people they're disgusting you say that but didn't you notice earlier in the classroom 
you didn't insult anyone, even when those girls were getting in your personal space. You mellowed out a little bit somehow. No way! I will never! You're tolerant of me and Akira, though. That is not comparable. Maybe someday you'll be used to me, too, and we can be friends. <sighs> Hell no! Ugly! He stands up and starts to run away, as always when he's embarrassed. I feel better now I'm leaving. Oh, wait, I was joking. Oh, no, don't leave us all alone. He didn't hear me. Predictable. This guy, he's getting attached. Uh, do you say something? Nothing important. Come on, we should head back to the glass room, too. Yeah. Oh, boy. The days pass quickly, and soon is the day of the school's cultural festival. Everybody has been busy since this morning, and since our high school doesn't really have a good reputation, I'm surprised by the fair amount of visitors. Therefore, our duty as helpers for the festival is more tiresome than I thought. I want a break. I want to see our animal-eared boys. Keep it up, you two. It's almost time for the next shift to take over. By the way, where's Toshio? I saw him leaving earlier. I think he went to the infirmary. I'm going to check on him just in case. Good work, guys. And he runs away to the building. Hey, wait! Shh, what a lame excuse to avoid responsibilities. You're one to talk. And I think he was genuinely worried for once. After our two-hour shift has ended, we decided to go see Icky and the others who's working the current shift for our class event. I insisted some days ago for him to wear cat ears for the yes. occasion, but I don't think he would do it anyways. Or, I swear to God, I almost gulp in surprise when we step into the room because he's actually wearing them alongside Yuta and two other classmates who were chosen. And, since he's in charge of reception, he can't help but notice our presence. Get him! Yeah. Called it! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. He is so cute. Well, well, I don't think that th this is uh, how you're supposed to greet us as your dear customers. Welcome. Hey, you have to say your lines properly. You can do it, Icky. Damn it. He avoids our gaze and mumbles, embarrassed. Welcome back, my ladies. Let me guide you to your seat. Please follow me. See, you can do it. It wasn't that great, but I guess it's better than nothing. Shut up. We take our seat, and Yuta happily comes to us, notepad in hand. He shows us his best print smile, while asking like a perfect butler. Oh, Fuck he's so that is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, my ladies. You came in just in time before our break. I'm glad to see you here. Have you decided on your order? Juice for me? Me too, with rose cookies. Thanks. Understood. Please wait a moment. He leaves and comes back a few minutes later with our drinks and snacks. Dear ladies, did you know these cookies were baked by Mr. Mira? He insisted on helping us with them. Really? How surprising. I take a bite, surprised by its wonderful taste. It's supposed to be a rose cookie, but I can taste another flavor mixed in with it. Yes, he is rocking that look, too. He's a little bunny boy. Little bunny boy! Little bunny man! Little bunny man! Little bunny prince! Little prince? The prince? Prince bunny? Is it vanilla? It's so good. Yes, Mr. Mira is well known for his sweet tooth, so I wasn't surprised at all to see him involved in the making of our cookies. 
He politely bows to us, still with the big smile on his face. Well then, my apologies, ladies, but I must take my leave and replace Mr. Sato's shift for a few remaining minutes of work. He turns in the opposite direction, walking towards the door where Icky is standing. Hmm, that role really suits him. And you and Ryu did a great job in the outfits. They look really pro- Oh my god, where's my phone? What's wrong? Did you lose it? I need to take a pic! A pic? I look in the same direction and immediately understand why she was in such a hurry. Yuta is fixing Icky's necktie with an amused smile, while Icky seems annoyed by it. Seriously? You know why Yuta is great? Because I can ship his character with absolutely everybody! <laughs> I mean, for research purposes, obviously! Ichigo, you should stop with this habit of taking people's pictures without consent. It's kind of bad, you know, at least... Oh, you know, at least... Yeah, you at least know that, right? You say that. But you did the same thing once with Icky and the boys, that time where you spent a day together? It, yeah, but I sent it to them afterwards, as a memory. Maybe, but I saw you smirking at your phone from time to time, looking at that pic while zooming in on Icky's face. <sighs> hey, what's wrong with my face? Ah, you startled me! It's nothing! Hey, Icky, listen, I have a fun story to tell you. <laughs> Did you know that Aya actually... I hastily cover my mouth, trying to change the topic. Uh, Icky, you done with your shift, right? Wanna take a look around the festival? I just finished too. Yeah, sure. Uh, be with Hachan. See ya! See you. Let's go then. You don't wanna... You don't wanna call Ryu and Toshio over? Honestly, I'm already tired enough. I don't want them around right now. True. Also, it's not bad to just be with you every once in a while. You like to spend time with just me? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Thanks. So, what do you want to do? Anything's fine with me. You can pick. Port. I, I take the pamphlet. <laughs> Port me. <laughs> no, they're going to they're going to the haunted house. Oh, the haunted house. That's it. Yeah. I take the pamphlet from my pocket and we look at it, trying to figure out what kind of activities might be interesting. There are so many that it's actually hard to choose. Although the haunted house sounds like something fun to try. <gasps> oh, yeah. do 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 the haunted yeah, house. We're going to the haunted house. There's lots. There's lots of things to do, but the haunted house seems fun. Let's go. Uh, actually, let me choose something. What? Why? Haunted houses are too childish. Oh, is it more like you find them scary? N no. Hmm, are you sure? Ugh, fine, you're annoying. Let's go to the haunted house. We must protect our sweet little baby. Please keep the cat ears on. <laughs> he starts to walk without any enthusiasm, and I follow him towards the haunted house. Someone in the ghost costume is standing in front of the entrance, handing pamphlets to the passerby. I need a drink. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, he kept yes. them on. Yes. You sure you want to go? Yes. It's your last chance to say no. Are you really sure? Yeah, and you? I bet you're the one who doesn't want to go. You're scared, right? I told you, I'm not. Let's go. He hesitates. He hesitantly turns towards the entrance of the attraction and finally takes a step inside. Ooh. The room is narrowed with boxes situated in ways so that people can't see what is waiting at the next turn, like a maze. Plus, it's really dark and the only source of light is the faint green one. Why is it red then? Because it's scary. There's a faint green one hidden behind an artificial dead tree. I look down at my feet to see if there's anything that could be in the way, and I notice a red mark painted on the floor. What's this? Maybe where it begins? Let's go? Y yeah. We pass the marking, and the eerie tune instantly starts playing. It's a good idea, since you can really feel the creepy atmosphere because of it. 
We continue further down the maze when something suddenly jumps on us from the ceiling. Ah! <laughs> Icky, <laughs> Icky screams and crouches on the floor. Big Hands sunny vibes right here. What is this? I pull out my phone and point the flashlight at him. What? It's only paper bats. Uh, of course, I knew that. Sure. What? Honestly, your scream surprised me more than these things. It was a fate scream. I just wanted to scare you. Anyway, we should continue. If you're too scared, you can hold my hand or something. What? I'm not... I stop. I can see his desperate eyes. Uh, I can see his desperate eyes, despite the darkness, imploring me to accept his proposition. Is he scared to the point that he wants to cling to me? We carry him. I change my mind and extend my hand towards him while feigning fear. You're right. It's really scary. Can I hold on to your arm? Yeah. Nothing really frightening happens as we continue advancing in a maze. We get startled here and there at really poorly made spooky things until in the last stretch with the exit right in front of us, Something a little more quality scare bumped into us. Icky grabbed my arm and started dashing at full speed. Ah, I can't take it anymore! Pre make it hand holding. <laughs> <laughs> we make it to the exit a few seconds later. Damn it, I hate this kind of thing. Jeez. You were scared after all. Yeah, okay, I was fucking scared. Oh, shit. I was fucking scared. You can laugh at me. Ha ha. Can I? You're supposed to say that you won't laugh at times like this. But it was funny. I didn't know that you were... Uh, uh, the, the, I didn't know that you were that easily scared. Shut up. Also, it's okay now. You can let go of my arm. Uh, sorry. He immediately removes his hand from me, blushing hard. While some people around us are whispering and smiling knowingly. Don't mind them. Why are you blushing too? I am I? Yeah, you are. Stop that. What a cute couple. <laughs> Aw, uh, you're right. I'm just trying to save your voice, my dude. You, you're, you're right. You're right. I'm letting you. <laughs> I'm leaving. Wait! He starts walking really fast, and I have some difficulties falling without running. Icky! He stops and timidly turns to me. Sorry, I was embarrassed. People saying that we're a couple. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit embarrassed myself. Can we stop with the awkward silence? Sorry. Anyway, I had to help the Light Music Club for their mini concert. Do you want to check it out? It's starting soon. Why not? Let's go. Once I arrived at the gymnasium, the previous show is still going on, and I take a seat near the door, patiently waiting for Icky's turn. A few minutes later, the light music club steps onto the stage, followed by Icky and... Toshia? What's he doing there? Um, hello, welcome. My name's Icky, let me introduce to you the light music club. I'm not a member, but I did request them to help me finish a piece for piano and violin. He turns to Toshio, who slightly <laughs> bows. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hard. Like, this is going to be so wholesome. Oh, no. I think this is the first time I've ever seen this guy bow to anyone, and it makes me kind of nervous. They look so serious. Please, bear with us and enjoy. I'm, uh, I'm gonna cry. Oh. I'm literally tearing up already. Oh. He sits at the piano while Toshio tunes his violin. They both Now, if they had swapped instruments, that's Sunny. Oh my god. They both take a deep breath, then start to play. I immediately recognize the first notes of the piano. For having heard them all these years. This is what Icky's mom started and never had time to finish. A song dedicated to her most precious treasures. 
then the violin comes in. Oh my god, the violin came in just as I said that. Beautifully melding with the piano. I close my eyes and listen to the entrancing song, hoping it never ends. It's light and filled with feelings. I didn't know these two were able to convey such a thing through music together. I think about Iggy. How he felt all this time after the incident. How he must have struggled so hard and most likely felt horribly guilty about everything. He isn't good at expressing himself, just like Toshio. They, they both are clumsy, moody, and I sometimes really can't understand them. Knowing that, I'm surprised at how nicely the song came out. It could have been more heavy, but it, it isn't the case at all. It's so peaceful. Some people next to me start to weep. Maybe they know this song too, since Miss Sato was a local celebrity. And without noticing it, cold tears run down my cheeks. Oh no, now I'm starting to cry. Sadness and happiness mix in my heart. Almost like a burden is quite quietly leaving my soul, replaced by a soothing feeling. The sun after the rain. The release from torment. A gentle goodbye. <laughs> oh, are you are you crying? <laughs> and just like that, the music slowly draws to an end, and the two of them exit the stage, leaving the place to the actual club members in their performance. Icky sends me a text message right after, asking if I want to wander around the school for the rest of the festival. I sat and joined him outside the auditorium. Yo. That was amazing. Your eyes are red. <laughs> I cried. Are you serious? He strokes my hair and smiles. Oh. You're rather touchy these days. Oh, you're rather touchy these days. Do you like touching me that much? Wh what? What's with that? His face is bright red, and I realize what I just said might be a bit suggestive. N no, I mean... I try to find better words to clear the misunderstanding when Icky suddenly pats me on the head again. What? I like it. Huh? Your hair. Okay. He silently continues to stroke my head for a little longer. Awkward? Ugh. Yeah, sorry. It's awkward, but I didn't say that I dislike it. You can go on if you want. N no, I'll stop. His hand falls back down to his side, and he leaves me confused without another word. What was that? December 12th, lunchtime. A month later. <sighs> Oh, what's wrong? It didn't hear me, I'm guessing. No, it didn't. Well, I was I was about to say, are you okay? <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Shut up, everybody. You're, <laughs> you cried, too. Yeah, I'm not, not admitting it. I don't know. Icky's been acting weird since a month or two ago. Weird? Yeah, he's been awkward around me, and I feel like something's changed. But I don't know what exactly. He's still talking to me, but it's not the same as before. Also, I'm not sure, but I think maybe, maybe I like him more than just as a friend. <coughs> what? <coughs> what do you mean? I mean, I like it when he pats me on the head, and I feel like I might be jealous if he does that to someone else. It's definitely something more than just how a friend would feel, right? Yeah, maybe something has changed and he noticed and doesn't know how to act around me anymore? Ah, it's so annoying. I didn't see that coming. When did it happen? How? Is it love? 
I don't know for sure if it's love, but it's not his friends either. And I really can't tell when it changed because I have no idea. Oh my god, details. What details? Like, do you want to date him? Do you want to be lovey-dovey? Do you have dirty thoughts about him before going Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear such things. Thank you very much. No, I don't really have any desire to date him. Nor do I have dirty thoughts. You're blushing. It's suspicious. I'm not. Uh, icky. I turn around in surprise, praying that he didn't hear our conversation. Hey. Icky, since when were you here? Just now. Why? N nothing. Anyway, could you stop by my house this afternoon? Akane wants to go shopping with you. I don't know why she didn't want me to tag along. We got a birthday coming up. Oh, shit. Maybe she wants to buy underwear and is too embarrassed to ask you. Oh, right. It might be that. All right. Wait for me when classes are done then. Got it. Or Christmas. Or Christmas. He oh, Christmas. That's right. It's December. He looks at me in silence, hesitantly opening then closing his mouth again. Something else you need to say? Also, do you want to spend Christmas with me? Yeah, sure. R really? Well, why not? You should help. Uh, you should help me choose Akane's present. N no, I mean, just the two. What? Christmas party? I'm in. What, Ryu? You're not even in this grade. <laughs> A wild Ryu appears. We should invite Toshi and Aki, too. I bet it's been a long time since you all spent a Christmas together. It'll be fun. Totally. Oh, uh, I, uh, uh, I've come to pick up Icky for lunch, but do you want to join us, too, on the roof? Thanks for offering, but I'm eating with the girls today. Okay, let's go, Icky. Toshi is waiting. W wait, Ryu... Uh, he's gonna get some advice about getting me or Aya a present. Ooh. Akane, we're here. Welcome back. She rushes towards us, a big smile on her face. Yeah, you came. Thank you. Ha, <laughs> you're welcome. You want to drink something before you go? I'm good, thanks. Are you ready, Akane? I'm ready. See you later. This is the first time I'm walking alone with Akane, but she seems pretty relaxed about it. Oh, look at that! Ah! I'm glad Icky didn't come with us. I'm curious, why don't you want him around? Well, because I want to buy him a present for Christmas. And, um, I thought it might be fun to shop with just the two of us. <laughs> it will be. Say, uh, I also have a question. Her serious gaze, which reminds me of Icky. Oh, look at that! That's her serious face. Don't Icky mess with her. Mom. <laughs> how, how do you know you love someone? Oh! That's it! That's <laughs> it! I mean, not like family but as lovers. This can be Akira and Akane. <gasps> uh, I'm afraid I've never fallen in love before, but maybe it's when you're always thinking about them. You want to be with them 24 seven. You also feel jealous thinking someone might be closer to them than you are. Oh, and you feel happy when they take your hand or pat your head. Oh, wait. This is love, is it? No way. Yeah, I think that's love. See. A slight brush, a slight br blush makes its way to her cheeks. Are you in love with someone by chance? I think with Aki. There it is, confirmed. <laughs> Aki, you mean Akira? 
Yes, but I'm too shy and scared to tell him. Don't rush. You're young and still have time. Also, I'm pretty sure Aki already likes you a lot, so don't worry. Is that true? Yes, trust me. We quickly find something to buy, and I escort her back home. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you were never so easy. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, just look it at it. It's in with the background on your stream. Yeah. That just works out so well. <laughs> After that, several days pass until it's Christmas. I'm standing in front of their door, thinking about how I feel about Icky, and I sigh. <gasps> Move. Whoa. Toshio, you surprised me. I didn't hear you. Hello, Aya. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. What about you, Akira? I'm scared to chit-chat and make you worse. It's freezing out here. Ah, right. I ring the bell, and the door opens. Hi, I knew Toshio's grumpy voice. Come in. Welcome. Don't act like it's your home, moron. It's not my home yet. It's everybody's home. Comrade Ryu. <laughs> Hi ho! <laughs> <laughs> Start singing the Russian anthem. Oh god, that's a bad time to say that, huh? We enter the house and walk towards the living room, where Akane is waiting for us with lots of food on the table. Her eyes are sparkling and clean, clearly happy to see everyone reunited for this event. Hello, Akane. Can we eat now? I'm hungry. Yes, yes. Let's eat then. Yeah! As always, the food is delicious and it looks costly. Once dinner is over, I help Icky clean while the others are preparing the rest of the party. Icky, I hope you didn't spend too much money on it. Uh, just a bit. Icky! I know, I know. But I wanted this to be the perfect Christmas for Kane. Jeez. How am I supposed to scold you when you say things like that? You're such an adorable big bro. Can I forget about my own sibling and become your little sister instead? He's about to reply when we hear a quiet laugh from behind us. <laughs> you almost look like young newlyweds I saw in this movie a couple days ago. Uh. The comment immediately makes us blush. I feel a bit stupid blushing from such a simple remark, but I wonder why Icky seems embarrassed as well. I know he's shy, but maybe, maybe he's not just that. I feel the urge to ask him if he has someone he likes, but can't find the courage to, and the timing's a bit off. Don't you have any shame flirting in front of your guests? We aren't flirting. Come on, let's go back to the living room. We sit around the low table again, ready to open the presents. Ryu brings the big bag with all the gifts we put in it for the present exchange, and we take turns pulling something out of the bag. I end up... God, my, my mind is so bad. I read that as, I end up with the muzzle. God. <laughs> I end up with the puzzle, and Icky with cute scrunchies. Oh, I got star sunglasses. It's perfect for me. Blushing. Got a clown nose. <laughs> she looks at Akira's gift with envy and bites her lip out of frustration. Do you want mine? I bet you prefer candies over your... He looks at the clown nose, stifling a laugh. Stifling a laugh. Is it okay with you? Sure, I don't mind it. Aww. I don't want the candies. <laughs> Sorry, it's too late. Does someone want to trade with me too? Oh, you don't like them? Is this from you? Yes. I see. Huh? You're keeping them? 
Yeah, it won't kill me. Anyway, it's time to play! He takes out a small box and puts it on the table after vigorously shaking it. What's that? The number of paper slips in this box is the same as how many people we have here. Six. Each of us will draw one without knowing which color they get. The one who drew blue has to choose truth or dare, and the red are the ones asking truth or dare. Okay, I'm out of this shit. <laughs> Same here. What? No! I are you playing? Sure, it sounds fun, but it'll be less fun without Iki and Toshia. That would be sad, true. Akane, Aki... Yes, I wanted to play with everyone. Ugh, fine. I'm sure it will be more fun. And please, Toshio, for once, just try to participate in this kind of thing. They're your friends. You have nothing to fear. I'm always worried about you and your future, you know. I don't expect you to force yourself with strangers or people you don't trust, but at least with the people you like, okay? Okay. Dang! Aki putting his brother in his place. How is it that the only one who doesn't have bottom energy is a 10-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody, every other person. Bottom, 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 bottom. He's an alpha male. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my younger brother. <laughs> You guys are so weak, it's scary. I find it kind of cute. Also, those who fail have to eat hot peppers as punishment. They're all the same color, but some are hotter than others. Ooh. What? I can't handle spicy food. You know I'm bad with it. Anyway, let's start. Yes, totally ignoring Icky, as always. Uh, I'm red. I can see Akane's disappointment, but she tries not to show it. Truth or dare? Truth. Uh, what's your biggest fear? People. Eh, that one was easy. We all know. Uh, we all know already that you're fe you fear people. We draw paper slips again. Red. Blue. Truth or dare? Truth. Uh, what's your favorite color? I don't have any, but I kind of like yellow. Oh my god, what's with that boring question? Some turns later, Ryu is red and Icky is blue. Finally. <laughs> oh boy, truth. Name the person you love and tell us if you have dirty thoughts about them. Is it only one question you're supposed to ask? Our boy about to eat a chili pepper. Oh what? no! <laughs> no! Not a Renakane and Aki. They're too pure for this. Oh. It's oh. when you want to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> His scream surprised us since he's usually so calm. But we realized right away that he's actually covering Akane's ear, who seems to be legitimately confused. <laughs> you will not take yes. your you moron! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Aki, you're right. Oh my god. You should be the one teaching her these things. <laughs> 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 Little Aki, who's always so composed, is now bright red and shouting at Ryu. <laughs> anyway, I changed my mind. I choose Dare. You can't do that, Icky. Then I pass. You sure? If you pass, it's the hot pepper punishment. I know. Give it to me already. He eats the hot pepper whole and reacts right away. Shit! It burns! <laughs> Here's some water. Icky gulps it in one shot, then looks at the glass with the puzzled look. 
Is it just me, or does the water taste strange? Oh, shit. Nah, I think it's because of what you just ate, maybe. Oh, no. Ryu. <laughs> no, oh. no, no. After more rounds of the game, Icky still passes his turn when he gets the blue one. The more he passes, the more he drinks after the punishment. And the more he drinks, the oh, more his no. punishment... More his behavior seems off, and it seems I'm not the only one to notice it. Ah, it's so hot. Gross, I'm sweating. He huffs in annoyance, then starts to strip before us. Whoa, calm down. What's gotten into you, dude? Are you sure it was water? Toshio takes the bottle and fills his glass with a bit of the liquid then carefully takes a sip. Hey, this is alcohol. Where did you get this, Ryu? It was hidden in some random drawers near the fridge. <laughs> Seriously, what exactly made you think it was just water? Jeez. Is Big Bro drunk? Seems so. I'm fine, I'm fine. Can I take off my pants? Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Don't do that, idiot. What? Well, you're the idiot, idiot. Anyway, put your clothes back on or you'll catch a cold. I take his sweater and help him put it back on. He looks at me with an awkward smile and chuckles. <laughs> you're like a mom. I wouldn't oh, mind if you gave my mama. Look at that. <laughs> You'll be the cutest mama in the whole world. Right, Akane? That's true. <laughs> okay. I, uh... What now? I want to cry. Why? I'm sad-happy. Sad-happy? Sad-happy. I'm, I'm sad-happy, okay? Sad up. What now? Is that a mix between the words sad and happy? I forgot that this guy is pure nonsense when he's drunk. What? He was drunk before? When? Middle school. Ryu's fault. Again. Hey, it wasn't my fault. It's always your <laughs> fault. It was totally your fault, monkey. M monkey? Okay, guys, let's just end the game here and go to bed. Icky, can you stand up? Do you need help? I don't want to stop. Yeah, let's continue. In this state, I don't think... Don't worry, Mama Aya. I feel super good right now. Uh, I can see that. I'm going to bed, though. You should do the same, Akane. You look sleepy. Yeah, let's go. She yawns as Sakira helps her stand up, and they exit the room after saying goodnight to us. <laughs> Good night, my cute, cute little sister. Okay, Icky, you should... I, uh... I yes? Did I already tell you that you're super cute, too? Uh, yeah, kind of. I really don't know what to think. Is he saying that because of the alcohol, or are these his true feelings? I really can't tell. Icky, truth or dare. But he didn't even draw a paper. Who cares? Now it's truth or dare just for Icky. <laughs> Poor thing. But I must admit that I find it sort of funny. Truth! Who's your best friend? What? Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Icky, focus and answer. Yes, sir. I don't want to hear the answer. Icky tries to stand up, but loses his balance at once and falls into Ryu's and Toshio's arms. I can't choose. I love you both so much. I don't know if I'd be able to handle all the burden without you two. So, yes, of course, you are both my best friends. And no crying. Say Icky is me drunk. This is how <laughs> I am. I don't like 
like being hugged. But I guess it's okay for you. <laughs> oh, Toshio's being soft. Shut up. I'm tolerating it just this once. I don't mind hugs. You can squeeze me really hard if you want, Icky. What? Thank you guys for being alive. Icky, stop it. You're crushing my ribs. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Icky, stop. You're too intense. R right. He releases his embrace on him, then pats me on the head again. I sure like patting your head, Mama Aya. Uh, yeah. Truth or dare? Truth again! What do you want the most right now? Right now? I bet he'll answer something like he wants his parents to be alive again. I feel sad for him. Mama Aya's lap pillow! What? Don't mind me! And without further ado, he plops his head on top of my thighs. I Icky! Hey, no fair! I want a lap pillow too! Oh! Uh, she's living the dream. Oh my god, it's her harem. This game has changed. Yes. <laughs> What's with that face, Toshi? You want one from my uh, Mama Aya too? No. Hey guys, only Icky is allowed to. Yeah, only me. Uh, why? That's unfair. Because he's drunk. And because he's specialty, right? Yeah. He <laughs> and special. <laughs> he fell asleep. Probably. That was fast. <laughs> I look at his peaceful face and poke his cheek with my finger. Time for shots! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so precious. He's cute, right? Yeah. Matoshio still has the cutest sleeping face. I lightly touch his ear, the one with the piercings, and he jumps a little. Tickles! Seems like this place is sensitive. Ho 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 ho! Hey, don't take advantage of sleeping people. I'm not taking advantage. It's only because I would never have the chance to if he was awake. That is taking advantage. <laughs> Which is basically taking advantage of someone. Toshio! Yes? Won't let you. I, uh... <clears throat> what does that mean? Don't go, I, uh... Don't leave me for him. <laughs> oh, interesting. Don't listen to him. He's asleep and drunk after all. But he said my name twice. I told you, it's nothing ugly. Okay, okay. You don't need to get angry. Jeez. Anyway, Icky, you should at least sleep on the sofa. <sighs> I think he's completely out now. Guys, help me carry him. Okay. The next morning. Oh, Lord. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Akane, Akira, good morning. Did you sleep well? I did. Thank you for asking. Have you already eaten your breakfast? Yes. Can you keep an eye on the eggs while I wake your brother? Toshio and Ryu are out doing some errands. Okay. I walk into the living room and quietly make my way towards Icky. Icky, it's time to wake up. Come on, breakfast is almost ready. Breakfast. Yeah, breakfast. Come on, wake up. Alright, don't blame me for what happens next. Pickle attack. I move my face close Ooh. to his head and blow into his ear. As expected. He reacts instantly and is now fully awake. What the hell? Don't Aww. do that. He wakes up, now totally awake. His hair is untied. Oh, I didn't notice that until now. I noticed immediately. <laughs> Probably because his hair band fell off while he was sleeping. Good morning, Icky. How are you feeling? No hangover? What hangover? 
The Truth or Dare game yesterday. The Truth or... Icky squints his eyes at me, confused. Then opens them wide, almost comically. His face and ears burn up after seeming to remember. I, 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 I. Embarrassed, he covers his face with his hands and dashes to the corridor. I'm going to the bathroom. I return to the kitchen, unable to control the wide, goofy smile that must be on my face. Icky shouted really loudly. Don't worry, he was just remembering his moment of shame. Uh oh. Pardon my rudeness, but I have been wondering, are you dating Icky? We aren't. Do you love him? She asked with gleaming eyes. Oh, she wants us to be dating. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Well, I think so. Does that mean you'll become my sister-in-law? Yeah, we made it. Fuck yeah. Maybe, but I don't know what Icky thinks of me. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure he has feelings for you. He's just too shy to uh, be upfront with you. You should make him drunk again and ask him <laughs> while he isn't thinking straight. Well, what? <laughs> it's scary how this evil sentence escapes so easily from the lips of the purest girl I know. Family approval. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even realize what she's saying. I'm about to respond, but Akira is already scolding her. That isn't the right way to do things, Akane. Uh. Akira turns to me with serious eyes and chides me as well. I think that's chide. Yeah, chide. Okay. You know better, right? If you want answers, then ask him directly. Just don't do anything inappropriate and reckless, because that isn't the right way, in my opinion. Y yeah. Good. This guy. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> I feel like an employee being scolded by their superior. Oh, Icky, good morning. Y yeah. He put his hair back up. Is it me, or is he downright ignoring me? I get the feeling the next couple of hours will be awkward between us again. And I was right. Each time I wanted to talk to him, even just for small talk, he just blatantly avoided me. And it's starting to get on my nerves now. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this boy. Hey, Icky. Without waiting for me to finish, he takes a dramatic U-turn and starts to run away from me. I catch his wrist before he can leave. Hey! Don't touch me. He pulls his hand away from mine like it was a fire, looks at me angrily, then hurries to his room and slams the door. Whoa. I knock on his door, confused. Mm, okay, did I do something wrong? Don't talk to me. What? Hey, what's your problem? If I said or did something that made you angry, please just say so. He opens his door, then grabs my oh. arm, pulling me through the house until we reach the house entrance. Oh, no. Wait. Put on your shoes and coat. Why? Are we going somewhere? Just put them on. Okay. He patiently waits for me to finish and hands me my winter coat, then pushes my back and closes the door behind me. Did, did he just kick me out of the house? What the heck, Icky? Open the door. No response. Okay, fine. Bye. At Oof. Ichigo's place. <sighs> What's wrong? Icky is acting like old Icky again. Did you fight? Honestly, I don't know. He just started acting like that without any reason I'm aware of. Have you tried talking to him? Yeah, a couple times. But he's always either avoiding me or just being really rude. Saying that he doesn't want to see my face and things like that. It's like back then, and I truly don't understand since we were good friends until recently. Maybe that's the problem. Huh? What do you mean? What are your feelings toward him? I'm pretty sure it's love. What? I knew it! Did you go? 
please shut your mouth. Okay. Look, maybe he's in the same boat as you and doesn't know how to face you. You mean he might like me too? It's a possibility. Since we're talking about Icky here, he is most likely overthinking things and trying not to involve you in a really clumsy way. Hachan, expert in love. I'm not. It's just the most logical explanation that comes to mind for me, knowing the person we're talking about. Maybe you should try confessing on Valentine's with chocolates. Oh, for once, it's not a stupid idea. I'm impressed. Hey! Maybe. Maybe I can write a letter, too, since he doesn't want to talk to me face to face. Yeah, you can try. Hmm, but I don't know how to make chocolates. Ask Mr. Jerk since he's a genius cook. Uh, I think I already know his answer. Try to ask your friends now, right? Friends might be a bit of an overstatement. But yeah, we don't want to kill each other anymore. And he can't he can tolerate me being in the same room as him now. You should ask him before the break ends. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna text him. Good luck! I write him a message and the answer comes faster than expected. It says, Tell me more about this crap. What? He kind of agreed to it? That was fast. I was so sure he would turn you down. Why didn't he? I don't know. It's kind of scary, actually. Suddenly, my phone rings, displaying Toshio's name on a screen. Bing, bing, he's, bing. He's calling me. What do I do? That's too suspicious. Oh, my God. Stop panicking and answer, you moron. R right. Uh, hello? Toshio, can you hear me? Gross. Um, hello? Hello? Wait, did he just hang up? My phone rings again, showing the same caller ID. What do you want? What do I want? You're the one who called me, so what do you want? You texted me about Icky first. Oh, uh, well, you see, I, um... Uh, why do I have to... Why do I have to tell you? Um, I... I like him. Okay, bye. Wait, wait, wait! I need your help! No. Please, Toshio. Don't say my name like that. It's gross as heck. Sorry, but really, I need your cooking talent. Can you teach me how to make some sweets? All right. Really? Thanks. But I'll kill you if you fail. Uh, I might die several times then. And don't touch me either while we're cooking, even if it's unintentional. Got it. Don't worry about that. Okay, then. Bye. He hangs up again, and I do an okay sign to Ichigo and horror. The days pass, and we train almost every day at Ryu's house, since it's impossible at Toshio's or Ikki's. Fortunately, it goes more smoothly than expected before. After a little while, the big day is here. I had carefully packed my chocolates and cookies in a cute little bag this morning, and I'm about to offer it to Icky. I still can't process how and when I started liking them romantically, or what I'm about to do in a few minutes, but somehow I need to make it clear. I head to the meeting point where Icky should be at the Ryu and Toshio call him out. I wonder why I'm so anxious. Is it because I fear his rejection? I walk towards him while hiding my gift behind my back. He jerks back, surprised to see me since he was expecting the others to come. Hey. What? It's you. Yeah? Were you waiting for Ryu and Toshio? Yeah, but they're not coming, it seems. He turns to me a little, then starts to walk away, apparently uneasy to be alone with me. L look I have something to say. Leave me alone. Wait, can you hear me out a little? I have something I need to tell you. Don't talk to me. Why are you doing this? Did I hurt you somehow? He flinches, trying not to look me in the eyes. Say something. I can't read your mind, you know. Ah, uh, this isn't good. I'm getting worked up again. 
Do you hate me? What's with that reaction? Does he really hate me? Why? I unconsciously reach my hand towards his sleeve, but he jumps back and shouts at me. Don't touch me. Just don't talk to me anymore. Okay. I started shouting Whoop. back at him. My patience gone. I was about to say something really important to me, but whatever. I threw my present at his face, about to cry out of frustration. And I worked rather hard for this trash to have a decent taste. But you know what? Never mind. I don't care anymore. No, that's not it. It shouldn't have been these words coming out of my mouth for this moment. Why does it always end up like this? Why can't I just be like those cute, cheerful girls that you always see in Sojo Manga? The thought pops up in my mind. Unable to think straight, I dash through the park and take shelter in a nearby public restroom. I wait for a while, hoping he wouldn't be there anymore, then decide to go home. I can't stay here for the rest of my life. I open the door, exiting the restroom, and pray hard not to bump into Icky. Too bad, my prayers didn't work. Good job. Yo. Was he waiting here the whole time? I ignore him, still sulking, and head in the opposite direction, followed in silence by him. Aya. Aya, I'm sorry. He grabbed my arm, looking at me with watery eyes. What? Are you gonna cry? He turns his head, trying to hide his face. I'm not. Let's sit somewhere and talk. Okay. He finally wants to talk. I wonder what topic he'll bring up. Is it his excuse for avoiding me? Is it about his feelings? Or maybe he's going to reject me? We sit down on the bench in an awkward silence. Should I speak first? Um, wait, I need to prepare myself. Oh, okay. Jeez, this is so nerve-wracking. I, I don't know where to start. Well, I accept your feelings, but I'm sorry. Wait, is he telling me he feels the same? So why is he sorry? Is it rejection after all? You are? Then why are you apologizing? I accept, but I can't. Why? I don't, I don't want to hurt you. I'm no good for you. I can't express my feelings well and all. I want... No. I don't want... Yeah, I'm really no good after all. You'll be sad with me. You'll regret your choice. I think I'm the one to decide whether I'm sad or not. I can't take care of you. People get hurt because of me. What if something really bad happens because of me? Is he referring to his family? I can take care of myself. I can even take care of the three of us if need be. No, I, I can't. Part of me wants to have you for myself, but the other part fears losing you. And I really don't want to lose you. That's why I can't be attached to you. I made up my mind, so... Icky, I love you. Nani? I grab him by the collar and pull him oh. in, sealing his lips with mine. It's embarrassing, really, doing this in a public place. But this guy is so stubborn, and I can't think of any other way to convey my feelings to him. Oh! oh. And we get to see Protag. Yeah. Well, you just... No, this needs to save. Save that little memory. New slot. <laughs> I love you. Don't don't say it twice. Also, you just forcefully kiss me. Yeah, sorry. Wow, that's embarrassing. Yeah, it is. Well, wait, you're crying. Why are you crying? I'm sorry. I'm crying out of embarrassment, but also, I'm happy. I'm so happy right now that it hurts. 
to say, Aya, am I really allowed to be this happy? Yes, of course. He's crying even more, burying his head in my shoulder. Finally. Am I really allowed to be happy? Yes, you are. Wait, do I... Do I hit... Okay. Do you really think I deserve happiness? Totally. I... It's scary, but I'll try my best. I wipe the tears from his cheeks and give him my brightest smile. You're allowed to be happy, and you're allowed to be sad, too. No one will blame you if you sometimes feel like crying, and I'll be right there for you, no matter what. I love you. Sorry, Aya. Please, from now on, bear with me. I kiss him again, on the cheek this time, filled with these weird feelings I've never experienced before, and we laugh together, still a bit shy about what just happened. I bet Akane will be overjoyed by the news. I can see that happening. Does that mean... Does that mean we're a family now? Oh my god! Alright! We're, <laughs> we're dating, we're not married. <laughs> Shit! I mean, no. I... <laughs> no. That's your kid now. Alright, I guess so. Yes, I guess. Let's build our future as a family then. Sounds like a good plan. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Woo! We that did was it. so cute. There is, like, technically another ending where they're just friends. Yeah. And it's apparently still happy, but, like, fuck. I, that was so great. That was good job, such a good ending. Absolutely. freaking lootly They did the story and the graphics. Oh, my God. You're such a good artist. Wow, good job. Good job. And the music, music. was wonderful. Oh. Oh. Wait, there was there wasn't lyrics. I didn't maybe? None that we've heard yet. Not that oh yeah, not that we heard yet. Okay. Oh, this was such a good game. And this was only and one of six. Even, yeah, we barely scratched the surface of this game. Oh my god. I'm so excited to play the next one. But we're going to oh have to call that a stream. God. Oh. oh. So good. I'm in love. This is great. Last but not least, oh. you. 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 The player. The pro tag. Thank you. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, uh, next Sunday we'll be doing the same game, different route. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll have to skip through maybe. We we can prep beforehand getting yeah, yeah. to the part where we get to the where quiz. It, uh, yeah, the also, quiz you part. Also, upload these to uh, YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I missed out on the first part. I no, think... they're 14. They're 14 days, and we just played last week. Okay. Just, okay. I'll. Well, that's what I'll do then. I'll upload the first version to YouTube and yeah upload them it should still be there wow great job that was so fun that was such a great like that was a good ending like first playthrough oh. we got the great ending wow like being friends wouldn't have been too bad but you know what we're fucking dating we had such a good ending the picture was amazing that I'm so excited to like, <sighs> go through each character. And there was a certain route that we needed to do it, too. Yeah, Toshio is the next one we're supposed to date. I'm um, kind of like, uh, really? But you know what? Yes. He wasn't too bad at the end there. No, I'm excited. I'm excited to do this. He even helped us cook. Yeah. I'm very excited to see how that goes. <laughs> uh. So, let's see who we're going to raid. Kelsey is doing like a 12-hour stream. Uh, we have... I don't know what Gus is doing. It says pools, hot tub, and what? And beaches. Oh. I don't know what that means. Dommy Wolf is playing D&D. &D. That might be fun. 
Yeah, maybe we can do dummy wolf. Yeah, let's go say hi to dummy. I like how the title of his stream is A Dog Tries D&D &D for the First Time. So, yep, that's <laughs> what we're going to do. There we go. I know I spelled that wrong. Hold on. Shit. Shit, I forgot how to spell warranty. <laughs> W-A-R-R-A-N-T-Y? R-R-A. Okay, that's the problem. And then here's our little raid message. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all for being here. Uh, next Sunday we'll be playing this again. We'll be doing Toshio's route. Uh, Little we, Gremlin. we have Morbin tomorrow. Morbin, Morbin time. Morbin time. Morb. Yeah, yeah. It's time to morb. Gather uh, morb heads. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye bye. Bye.